Thank you all by Lord for wishing me a nice stream. You're a sweet little apple pie. Thank you, Lord. He did not hear me. He did not hear me. He maybe heard me heard me on on your stream. So I he will did. say it again. Hello, 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 hello. Congratulations, Kibi, for being the first. I'm sorry, Kibi. How are you? How did you sleep and what did you eat today? Yep. Start that. And here you go. Lucy, you can pin it. Pin. Why? Oh. Um. Hey, Zeke. Welcome in. How are you doing? Hello. In group. I'm not group. Hey Lily, thanks for the photo. Welcome in. How are you doing? Hello. We're only like three people off from 700. Ooh, Lucy! Yeah. Congratulations! I'm proud of you. Very proud of you, Lucy. Big proudness. Yay. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm, 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 I'm gonna share, share a little model, model preview on 700. Oh, okay. <laughs> not like <laughs> I did not see them, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, you know. Uh, you Starting burned your finger game. earlier while making... How do you burn your fingers while making instant noodles? Um, did you freaking pour the water over your freaking fingers? Do you know what happened once to my roommate in high school? She was like pouring the water into her hot noodles, then she placed the side uh, the kettle, and as she was lifting up the bowl with the hot steaming noodles, she as she like grabbed it with her hand, she put her thumb into the soup. Oh jeez. That shriek I will never forget. So loud. She, and she was screaming so much. Uh, can you send it to me again? Because the game just like decided that that nah, you're not gonna play with Lucy. And I huh. say yes, we gonna play. You Fuck can't stop us until the servers die again, of course. Oh no, I slept fine and I ate pea soup, bread and bacon. You, uh, I had McFlurry, uh, the McDonald's ice cream today as a breakfast and now i had um bread with pate wait why do i have why do i have your squad yeah okay switched it uh, uh, oh. what? no stop it what are you doing one's mine yes i know yeah, I'm on top. Lucy, Devlin, and Quan. Those are my three guys. I fixed because it already. I'm... Oh, because oh, okay. I already fixed it. Okay, Lucy, I believe you. I'm gonna play Baldur's Gate one now that I'm, that my finger's feeling a little better. Nice, enjoy. Enjoy. Okay, let's see. What are, <gasps> what are we up to? Ooh. What's up? Do you played it as a kid, but you clearly had no idea what you're doing. Yeah, don't we all? I mean, I played Need for Speed Most Wanted, the first one, the good one, as a kid, but I also had no idea what I was doing. I never even beat Taz, I think. Oh my god, we are seeing stuff like the little garden, like the little garden greenhouse. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Holographic projector of our lovely leader. The lady that died. Wow. wow. Oh, jeez. You seen this guy? 
His freaking sniper rifle? That thing's massive. Well, that's... That's the... Oh, this guy. Yeah. That Valor kid doesn't sound much more stable than his brother. Yeah, his sniper rifle is huge. You're gonna be able to use that at some point. <laughs> yeah. Probably. Slot machine! Robot mascots of pre-war PSAs, Peek and Poke, were meant to show the right and wrong ways of preparing for the end of the world. Each vignette humorously contrasted Noble Peek's forethought and generosity, and Poke's short-sightedness and greed. Since the deluge, the billboards have been often modified by survivalists, who change the art and the message to suit the times, resulting in a darker humor than the original creators ever intended. <laughs> ah, Peek shares ammo, ammo with his squad before a battle. Poke steals ammo from his squad before a battle and loots their corpses later. Well... Uh, yeah, okay. Ah, this is the computer. It stayed. Hey, November! Uh, examine personal hey, logs. Much better now. Ready to help oh, nice! Way I can. Oh. We have more. Hey. Rekka, you're yeah. still on you're still on your chatting screen, by the way. <laughs> also, I, I found the ranger from the start of the game that we, that we rescued. Wait, then I step away from the terminal. Where? In the entrance hall. I hear you. Then give me a second. I need to talk to the, them. Hey, Izzy. Enjoy your look. Mm-hmm. Oh. I'm happy with how things are going so far. Uh, it's fine. We're fine. The Legion's Everything's certain. fine, I guess. Not really inspiring anybody, but that's not really our job, is it? Our job is to save the folks back home. And, well, I'm pretty sure we'll get there. We can try harder, though. Where? Do we want to ask her? We can. Might as well rec recruit her, even if we don't take her with us. You bet. Ready when you are. Jody Bell. Ah, oh, she's a sniper rifle mechanic and animal whisperer. Sorry, Jody. That's... We already have that. Sorry. Yeah. All rusty. Jody's been customizing her dad's old rifle since, since she was a kid. She enjoys tinkering with it even more than using it. Strike rate plus 10%. Hm. Come with me. We'll see. Come in. There's more logs that I can retrieve. 7A. 7A, check. 13C. Uh-huh, 13C. 1B. 1B. So. Oh. What? And personal logs. Few logs. Ah, here is it. Nerd stuff. This file encrypted. You're able to find the custom script that did it and reverse engineer the key. Oh, nice. Personal log, 2nd September 1995. He fixed his gaze on the monitor, fingers deftly tapping the keys expertly, covering his tracks as he pulled data from the system. Lieutenant Amor kept stealing glances back at him, enraptured by his steely blue eyes, as she watched the doorway for the guards. 
Have you found the evidence yet, Captain Halcom? We don't have much time left. How are, you, how are you? How did you sleep and what did you eat today? The captain hit a few more keys and nodded. He pulled the floppy disk from the drive and signed, signaled to the lieutenant quickly back to the vent. Ladies first, he said, helping Lieutenant Amor up to the ceiling duct. Despite her generous curves, she nimbly slid into the duct and Captain Halcom was easily able to pull himself up and follow her, sliding the great back into place just as guards swung by on their patrol hmm recover this lock has been erased but wasn't properly scrambled you are able to flag the data is not deleted another suicide today we're too visible here Peterson is defi defensible, but the siege is ex exhausting, physically and mentally. Too many buckling under the strain. We need a better solution before there are none of us left. I'm planning an evacuation to the second complex. The sooner we abandon this hellhole, the better. Yeah. Wait, well, secondary so complex? That means there's another one of these bases somewhere. Yes. Maybe. With old security logs. Nope, oh, yep, there's some more in the bottom. Ah. File termination missing logs. Okay. Here we go. Report. 072 primary generator failure reported will result in cat catastrophic failure of security system if not resolved information technology has not responded to repair queries core ser servitors placed into sleep made to preserve power to monitoring systems secondary processing system placed in the sleep mode and preserve power to primary processing Automated amendment intention was for catastrophic logging technological review with informational technology. System setting des designation to sleeping with vigilant. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, th that's that's all here. No. Slept okay and ate some toast today. Toast with what? I want to know. Toast with toast. But yeah, if we're looking at... I want to see inside this like big thing. So, people are on edge these days. They hear how the patriarchs sit, how these kids are crazy, and they're worried about the future. They can sense Colorado crumbling, and that starts a feeling every man for himself again. We gotta pull it back, Serge. We gotta turn the horses. That's what we're here to do, Marcelo. That's what all of this is all about. Keep it up. Thanks. I just hope it's enough. Well, let's see. This time I'm displaying information. Security system. Alt security logs. Backed up archive room sound with the accumulated clutter. Cleared system shows only a few thousand unread messages. Navigating it should be somewhat easier. Uh, so all the security logs are in the terminal that we just went to? Yeah. Okay. Hello, little robot. Let's 
Encyclopedia Robotica lore book, a heavily used guide to Colorado robots. A lore oh, wow. book. Read. Oh jeez. Where is it? Should I read all this? <laughs> what is it? Where is book? I already opened it. Ah. I'm reading it. Should I read it? Mm -hmm. uh, Enc Encyclopedia Robotica. Welcome to the ninth, ninth edition of Encyclopedia Robotica, the defensive repository of knowledge about all of Colorado's synthetic citizens. This 12-volume series will expand upon both the types of robots found, th found throughout the snowy expanses and high elevations of the state, as well as their detailed histories. You will discover exciting new facts of which you were never aware. For example, whose idea was it and how drunk were they when they de decided to attach giant saw blades to multi-legged robots and turn them loose on a population made almost entirely of sawable flesh? Saw dogs, oh, page 152. <laughs> Also, oh, hmm? You have like people, people who wrote this are like savage as fuck. Yeah. Also, did you know our spider bots, page 97, were designed to operate, operate, operate on uneven and treacherous strain and that their inventors only later realized giant robotic spiders looked utterly terrifying to most humans. <laughs> Perhaps you are researching Colorado robots for practical purposes, such as your family's survival. If so, Encyclopedia Robotica is your ultimate guide. Never again lose, an, lose a loved one t uh, to a dreaded Hopper Robert. A robot, pages 65 to 75. The leaping automatons designed uh, to carry all manner of explosive nuances. Nuisances, uh, from gas bombs to small tactical nuclear devices. You will learn how to pre Whoa. prevent yourself and others from being electrocuted by shock dogs, page 84. Hint, avoid the prongs. Uh, conversely, servitor bots can be life-saving medical assistants and are often utilized well for that purpose. However, their ability to manipulate tools means you should never give one a loaded machine gun. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> okay. I, I Noted. <laughs> Duly noted. Thank you very much. <laughs> We will not! All this information and more awaits you as you turn to the next pages of this introductory volume. Enjoy your journey exploring the diverse and only marginally lethal world of Colorado robots. Dr. Horvin Fitzgerald, PhD, a human doctor of robotics and definitely not a robot himself. Um, sounds like he's a robot himself. 100% a robot. Yeah. I, 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 I... I... Must be. Must be. 100 freaking percent. Because if you're a human, you don't write shit like that. <laughs> uh... It is done. But yeah. The, uh... The two level appropriate missions are the one in the... In the hotel with the clones and one to talk to somebody give me just a small second i just need to send out a message hey to my to my actually to my family where is it why am i so <laughs> why are you like uh this I don't know! <laughs> Come in Team November, Ranger HQ here. Oh jeez. A squad of BAMPs rolled up to Ranger oh, no. HQ. Rough mercenary oh, no. types. Their leader goes by Gary Wolf. Claims to be an ex-Ranger. Says he has news for you about your old enemy. Seems like the cutthroat take no prisoner type. Over. Uh -huh. Give me a second. Give me a second, please. One, two, no! three, four, five. I could keep counting.
Okay. Yes? Are they causing problems? That's a negative. Some hurt feelings and broken pottery, maybe. But they appear to be friendlies. What old enemy? No idea. Your guess is as good as mine. Oh, okay. Might as well. Damn, badass motherfuckers. Copy that range arch crew, we'll check it out. We'll be here over and out. So <laughs> immediately back to HQ, I guess. Yeah. You just came from there. Couldn't you just wait? Damn it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they are. Position for you, Rangers. What you got? You're the CEO around here. Huh. Okay. Quality wow. setup this time. Better than back in AZ. Guess Daddy Buchanan's buying you all the good gear. Screw you too. Yeah. Who are you? Gary Wolf, freelance security consultant and synth hunter. Got a proposition for you. Synth Hunter, Androids, Ranger Ranger Citadel. It's the HQ back in Arizona. The Rangers during their whole Cochise debacle. They might have come out strong if they'd listened to me. Too bad. What do you want? What do you want, you bitch? After the Rangers nuked Cochise and themselves. I figured somebody competent had to chase down its mechanical brood. So I recruited folks who'd lost family to synths, and I formed a posse. Decommissioned a dozen of the plastic punks in AZ. Then heard a feud headed east and followed them here. Now I'm getting flack from that tin star twat Daisy for exchanging fire with the synth we tracked to Colorado Springs. That's where you come in. Okay. The interfering bitch told the marshals to shoot us on sight if we stepped inside the city limits again, so we can't go after this October 11 synth. Was hoping you might be interested in taking care of it for us. Cash bounty for its head. Okay. What's so bad about the synth? Jesus. You're not one of those, are you? Fucking simps are always talking about how simps, simps are sent. <laughs> they have feelings. Bullshit. That's how they trick you. Synths are just top grade robots. Oh. What makes them dangerous is that every one of them has a little piece of cochise in their electric brain, like a virus. And if you leave them alone for too long, that virus spreads. And pretty soon we have the goddamn robot apocalypse all over again. Not on my watch. We cap them as soon as we see him. Don't give him a chance to talk. Uh, wait. Hello, Ryan. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, Ryan. How did you sleep on what did you eat today, lovely? Tell us about Cochise. Are you kidding me? Cochise is the ranger's greatest enemy. A supercomputer that almost exterminated them twice and which built an army of synths to kill every last human on Earth. Rangers aren't training their recruits at all these days, are they? Huh. I get, Did I they get... say cheese? My brain is so messed up. No, no. Go cheese. Synth Go cheese. So... It's not cheese. It's not cheese. I'm sorry. I'm sorry it's not cheese. I Go understand. Cheese. Uh, the synth is called October 11. Yeah, no idea why. Synths are weird that way. It and another synth called Tourmaline caged some sieves on their way here, just for kicks. So watch yourselves. Eleven is a stone killer. Gotta be neutralized before it kills again. And killing it will help us find its comrades. 
Yeah, how about calling this October 11 to help us find others? Yeah. All synths got a radio in their heads. Let's them communicate long distance and triangulate on each other. Once I crack Eleven's head open, I'll hack it for their locations. You want to go after the others too? I'll make it worth your time. Give me a second, then just put on a shirt. Okay. No flat killing. I'm dressed. We can continue. Then you. Yeah, what did they see Banyu? We cornered Eleven downtown and tried to take it out quietly. But there was a snafu and we had to open fire. Shot up the street. Wounded some civs. Oh boy. Silly bitch wouldn't listen when I warned her about the synth. Acted like we were the problem and sent us packing. Fuck her. Hey now. That's my ex-boss you're talking about, Hoss. Lucky you quit then. She's a frag candidate for sure. Oh, wow. Well, okay. I almost forgot I have slept semi-well and also had an apple for breakfast. Ooh, apples are great. They keep doctors away. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, this Ooh. isn't a part of our mission. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Mm. I don't know if to say yes or no because, like, I don't Me? know how this the 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 robots are. Are they okay or are they not okay? I mean, if he's talking the truth about game lore, then if it's actually a synth, it should be taken out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, we, we might as well accept the quest and just see how it turns out. Okay. <laughs> Add it to your list. Ought to be your top priority. Whatever. We'll wait here until you bring back its head. Should still be downtown somewhere. You'll know you're near it when you start hearing weird static on your radio. Squad, at ease. Weird static on the radio. The fox, fox was calling my name. Hmm. If you throw them at the doctors, they tend to run away. <laughs> oh, Ryan. Uh, I mean, he's not wrong. He's not. Spain static. Yeah, Hallie. Did your mother ever turn up? What do you want? Give me a second. Uh, bye. What did she say? Nothing. Just asked what we wanted. Uh, oh. Let's see, I don't think it's gonna be in here. But we might as well check. Is that not how you get rid of doctors? Um, no. Not usually. Wait, McTavish is still here. Didn't you want to leave? Huh. We cannot talk to him, so it's probably a glitch. Weird. Not here. Real weird. You stay healthy. That's how you you keep them away. I mean, that's one way. Not one of the more efficient ways. Ain't static. Vegas, off 
marshals. Will there be blood? Oh. Find out here. Boy. Mm. Do you think he's gonna be in the? Hmm. I think we're going in the right direction. Do you think he's gonna be in the apartments? Might be. And also, been buying bags of apples in case they show up. <laughs> you need to eat the apples. That's how you do it. It's certainly one way. There. No. Hmm. I mean, he, he's definitely on this side of town, though. Yeah. Need to eat and bake with the apples. Oh my god, I want to eat an apple pie. Ooh, god damn much. I mean, if you'd put a slice in front of me, I'd definitely eat it as well. <laughs> it's we'll been see. a while. You need to eat apple pies. Hmm. Oh, paint static. Paint static. We are going too far away. Might be. Oh, maybe he, he maybe he is in the in the museum. Oh, what is we didn't this? Check, we didn't check that place. Huh? What is this? Oh. It's a mechanic shop. We still need a mechanic for our base. Even in his old age, this man is immersive. Broad-shouldered and thick-necked. He wears his hair in a thick wide braid. Hey, Jimmy. Glad to see you're okay. Dorsey's didn't get this far? Nah, they didn't bother with us. They were after folks wearing badges like yours. I would have shot those Dorseys dead if they'd walked in my garage. Haven't it's also a doctor next door. Oh. If you folks are looking for help with your vehicle, you've come to the right place. Awesome. This is place. What is this place, yeah? This is the Colorado Springs Arapahoe Station. We got stations all over Colorado, mostly for fixing and supplying our own fleet. But we fix vehicles and sell parts to anybody. Cool. Oh, nice. I'm the manager, Jimmy Longhall. That's my crew over there. You need any repairs or alterations to your ride, they're the ones who will put it all together. Best crew in the business. Looks like you also repair people. Yeah? Oh, that's Doc Parker. He needed a place to set up his clinic, and we had the space, so... Uh. Good thing, too. Those Dorseys hurt a lot of people with that little raid of theirs. We brought as many as we could in here, and Doc's been patching them up as fast as he can. Only got two hands. Maybe we can help, or brother yeah. you, with your first aid stuff. Is Parker a good doctor? The best in Colorado Springs, no lie. He was the Patriarch's personal physician for a while. Took care of all the hoity toits in Broadmoor Heights, too. Kind of pissed us off at the time, actually. <laughs> huh. Nice Arapaho boy taking care of the hemorrhoids of the hundred families and turning <laughs> his back on his own people. Came home in the end, though. Remembered who he was and set up his clinic here. Been serving the working people of Colorado Springs ever since. Can you tell us about your employees? Co-workers. Not 
not employees. I only give the orders because I take the orders. Get me? Go ahead. Yeah. Shall I turn them into cider? I don't drink alcohol, but if you like cider, then totally yes. Why not? Anyway, um, cider's okay. The old one. Been with the station almost as long as I have. Ranch, the tall fella, thinks he's a heartbreaker, but he's the most sentimental sap you'll ever meet. And Pacer is our newest recruit. Don't mess with her. She's ten pounds of attitude in a five-pound bag. <laughs> <laughs> so are you all Arafno here? At the moment? Yeah, I guess so. Driving and wrenching has kind of become the Arapaho brand. We pride ourselves on being the best mechanics and couriers in the West. What can you tell us about the Ar Arapo? Well, except for those of us who run the stations, we mostly live on the road. The people of the convoy, some folks call us. And we've turned that way of life into a business. Arapaho service stations, Iron Thunder logistics, Arapaho caravan protection, and so on. While other folks were eating each other in the suburbs or fighting over mansions in Broadmoor Heights, we kept to the wildlands and didn't come back until civilization had reestablished itself. And when we came back, we came with services people needed. Transportation, protection, and repair. Been living well ever since. Uh, do you hire outsiders? Sure we do, if they're good enough. Takes a lot of skills to be better than an Arapaho, though. What do you sell? Anything for your vehicle. Have a look. Anything I see. Toolkit. This hefty kit has all the tools you'll need to perform basic repairs. Mechanics plus one. Tucker horn. Turn four. Good, buddy. What's your 20? <laughs> Uh, Rhino Cannon. Ooh! Oh my! Hmm. What did you buy? I just sold junk. Ah. Non-alcoholic cider? That's... I, I I think it's called different than cider. Okay, we can talk to the doctor. No time. Oh, what was that? A linebacker in a lab coat. This doctor is clearly weary, but works feverishly to bandage the bloody head of an unconscious young woman. Hey, doc. Kwan, hope you won't take offense, but I've got no time for niceties. Dying people take precedence. Understood, brother. Can we do anything to help? To help you. He just just towards the injured patients lying nearby. They're in bad shape, and I don't have the time or tools to save them. Barter. Ah, uh, come on. <laughs> yeah, we can do that. Shoulders sag with relief. Thank you. The things I need most are a suture kit, an injury kit, and a medic pack. Got that? These folks are literally dying on us, so don't fuck around. Yep, we already got it. Great. Then get started on those patients. We're state one. Got it. He nods, allowing himself a quiet sigh of relief, then returns his attention to the injured woman. I think that's your job. The younger woman is unconscious, her head is wrapped in bloody gauze. This man is sitting clenched teeth in a puddle of his own blood, hand pressed to his belly, intestines bulge 
from between the slats of his fingers. He won't last much longer without help. If you use one of your suture kits on him, you might be able to save his life. Is it bad, is it? Just okay, I them. need... Am I right? You I need see. to... The other guy. Crafting. You already have it. Yeah? Yeah. We have multiple. Okay. Then I just have to put it into my inventory. Round him Closed up, bring him back wound. to Doc Parker. I won't miss staring at my own gods. Being the unconscious woman. Uh, this woman is almost unconscious. Her body is a nightmare of bruises and dwells, but at least she's breathing. The damage is severe but treatable with basic tools. You could use one of your medic packs to save her life. Stop. Why wouldn't they wouldn't stop? Why wouldn't they stop? It hurts. Please. What's going on? Did you patch me up? Thank you. And... This man doesn't appear to be in much pain, but he's intensely focused on his leg. White bone shears through the skin. He's clearly broken it in several places. This may end poorly for him. You could use one of your injury kits to save his life. He jumped out of a building to escape the Dorseys. Didn't count on the ground stopping me. My leg! Um, you said it! Ugh, still hurts like a bitch, but maybe I'll actually walk again. Star Dr. Reika. My pet is wrapped in blood. I don't think okay. we can help her. Um. Okay, let's talk to this. We've done everything we can for the patient. Should all, oh, they should all pull through. Ease. Good. Thank you. Stethoscope. I know I've asked a lot of you, and I'm grateful for what you've already done. But I need one more favor. You see this girl? She was shot in the head, but there's no exit wound. The bullet's still in there. I need to keep constant watch on her, and I need cleaner, safer facilities to do it. If you let me use the facilities at your yeah, age, Yeah, 100%. Group, I'll, I'll do anything. I'll work as your doctor. I'll fucking juggle for you, Rangers. I just need to save her. What do you say? Yeah, okay. definitely. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Thank you. You've saved her life. And mine. Need anything before I get my stuff together? Um, Can you use medical? Yeah. Of course. Let's have a look. I think this is just a full heal. Yeah. Yeah. He leveled up again. Huh. Yes. Rangers, I chat. There's a lot to wrap up before I make my way. Give me a second. I need to. I wanna. I want lock picking. You know? Yeah. I want stronger lock picking. And more sniper rifles. No, I don't have the points for it. You ever hear of car gardens? You mean where they grow these fine automobiles for our personal use? Don't get cute. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Anyway, I didn't know they existed until my pa told me to go down to this old man's farm. Confirm. He said he had a few cars we could take. And? What didn't expect was 50 VWs in his garden, hanging around like shrubbery in a rich man's home. But the Damn, fact strength. Cars, but... Strong range. Speed, intelligence, 
intelligence in, in, intelligence is always nice, gives you more skill points, but yeah. I don't know how hard you want to focus on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Confirm. Okay. We can go. Oh, wait. You did not loot or die anything here. I did. You did? Oh, yeah. nice, Lucy. Nice. I am the loot goblin. Oh. There. Yes. The name's Theodoric. Mama Theo. Carter. Theo for friends. Hello. I, I already got a conversation. Oh no. I always have time to answer some questions. If you're yeah, to learn about our wall. Yes. You know what I do? Believe me, I understand. I open. I open our stream. I know. I Mama Carter. There we go. I'm in your conversation. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> okay. Grizzled and gnarled as an old oak tree, the little ra the round little woman scowls at you from under her scarf, eyes invisible in a face that has more wrinkles than skin. You got business with Mama Carter? I I don't know. Yes. Mm, yes. Ha! No, you don't. Come back when you do. Until then, scram. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So where yeah. did you have the conversation? Just right here. Theodore Curie. Uh, hello again. Oh. Learn more about the Colorado Springs. Curie. Mm -hmm. uh, who are you? I am the humble son of scientists. My mother and father were on a mission to pursue the possibility of cold fusion. Imagine nuclear reactions at room temperatures making it safe for everyone. Sadly. They are gone, and my efforts to follow their work has been stymied by immediate dangers. Perhaps one day, I'll have the time to devote to such a monumental achievement again. Tell us about the wall. Yeah. Big wall. It's simply your standard concrete barrier with Tesla-styled electrical deterrence. Not an absolute marvel of what could be done, but sufficient for the task of keeping out enemies. If we had oil to power the generators, you'd see the glorious effect of thousands of volts of electricity arcing across it, deterring would-be attackers from approaching. Such a pity. Ooh. Hmm. Very well, interesting. We help yet. Me, not help. Not, 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 not yet. Uh... Jeez. Um, oh yeah, did you get uh, lock picking five? Uh, yes. Still, let's go back to the apartments. Uh, to the little bit of Vegas first, actually. Vegas first? Yes. Wait, wait, uh, yeah, Vegas or... Wait, Vegas where the, first. Where, where the Vegas? We will see. Okay. Oh, for, for money, did you get more butter? Nice. Uh, no, I did not get more barter, but there's a safe. Oh. That I can open now. That I couldn't before. Noise. Now I can. And I will. Stowed away on an Arapaho convoy? Oh my god, tell me everything. Uh, uh, it was. Uh, uh, it was. Uh, yeah, this container here, too. We have mission to it. Oh, you can. You can. Uh, Tippy toes. Sneaky Still shit. Working. Yeah, nice. sneaky shit. Who has the sneaky shit? Um, Quan, I think. Nice. Chip use some skills. Six, not five. Oh, no. Well, then later. Whatever, later. Okay, we need you to set up a turret. In that fight, because those guys are very powerful. I love dancing at this place. It's the best. 
and do. But I've heard a rumor that there's an exclusive secret dance party of it happening every year. I'm for sure gonna go to invite this year. I've never been Let's go. Oh my, I had my legs twisted. Oh, and now my knee hurts. Oh no. Don't do that. So, does Quan have the sneaky shit? Quan has the sneaky shit. Level then 6. Then, teach, teach him the, the book. Yeah, I did. I already did it. You already did! You're one step ahead! Yes. Or ten. Never mind. Multiple steps ahead of you. Yes. Give me a second. I'm just gonna... Do it right away. Okay, what? Uh... EMP grenade might be helpful. Yeah. Okay. Can we go into, like, uh... No, not combat, but like sneaking mode. That's a possibility. Um, to mo move like that. No, I don't think we can. No. no. Okay. We see the. It's ridiculous. Okay, I think we should, um... Maybe we should restart this. And we should come in uh, throwing a grenade at them. We what could. do you think? Yeah. Can you reload? Give me a second, I'm gonna prepare. I'm gonna prepare a grenade. Grenade. Well. Yeah, this, but. String grenade. Yeah, smoke grenade, no. Okay. A grenade. Okay. Okay. The square of the hippopotamus is three times the length of its eye. Give me a second. He has half of his health, which is fucking great. Uh, yeah, I, I can't get inside though, your characters are blocking my... That's so stupid. I'm sorry. Yeah, you should be able to walk through your allies. Yeah, you should. Also, you you have zero AP. Can't you do... Um... Why? Can't you do delay turn? No. Fuck that. Yeah, got. Yeah, do that.
Oh, I don't have zero AP. Yeah, okay. you can't move either. Or can you? No, you I can't. Can. Okay. I can, but I want to kill this motherfucker. Oh, he has you Camino. Just 25%. This guy. Give me a second. Ah. Okay. Uh, I could have maybe thrown a, a turret inside, actually. Can can you at least clear out clear out the out of the way? Yeah, so I can get inside. Give me a second. I have to move with Cerberus. Now I can move it myself here. Cerberus. What do you have lovely? No! Too far away. Hey Giovanna. Ah, Welcome six. in. I can get here. Well, oh, you can move. Yeah. Move it now. Out of everybody's out of range. One dead. Well, that... What? It's one dead at least. Oh yeah, because everybody was out of range for me. Major Tomcat, fuck them up. Yeah, murder time. Let's go, Lucy. Let's go, Lucy! Lucy, you are super cute, says the Camino. He always says that. <laughs> well, then it must be true. Wait, why do I not have... I didn't... I didn't equip my... birds for some reason. Suddenly, I cannot equip this stuff during combat, but before it worked. on the machine, wow.
Crippled, amazing. Mm -hmm. so it's something. Didn't do anything. This is a real awful battlefield. Mm -hmm. So you basically have no freaking angles to attack through. Uh, where did you shoot? The guy. Did you hit him? No. Because for me, the the rocket just kept going and through the freaking wall. Oh, now it exploded. Now it exploded. Amazing. Slap him. Slap him dead. Lucia hit something! Woo! Yes! <laughs> she did. I don't have anything else now. Missed him. I missed him! No! Why'd you miss him? Why'd you go have to go and do that? A lot of misses going on for them. That's good. Major Tomcat fucking up the robot. Servers will be fighting the robot. Mm. Hand to hand combat. She will be slapping it. Bitch slapping it to death. That's what's gonna happen. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. I'm in a better position for next turn. Even if I didn't do anything this time. This center and then these are going contact exploits. Take him down clean. Attack with his swing. Wait. I need to go here. Nice.
No servers. Shrink, very small. Now you're my size. Oof. 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 Drunk evasion plus fifteen percent, melee and range damage minus thirty five percent, and description everything's cuter when it's smaller. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> You would be absolutely. Oh. Damn bitch. That man. Finally. We just have the turret left. Yeah. Nice. Ah, uh, Cerberus is... <laughs> Turn your Jan into a Marcia. Self-help book for the trials and tribulations of being in a large family. Oh boy. Uh, the Clown's Guide to Paints, Makeup and Acid. 1984's top seller. Now you too can look like a clown. Confetti this outfit. Equally useful in laboratories and laboratory-based pornography. <laughs> Energy cells. Damaged sensor. I am at the research no notes, and it's a conversation with the. On the desk, okay. you find a chaotic mass of ancient dot matrix printouts, scientific journals, and doggy eared books. Eared books. Not our notes are scrawled upon it, them in a wild, childish hand. The computer awaits bottom press. Begin experiment. No subject found. Oh, uh, can somebody stand here? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Let's try that again. Begin experiment. The computer analyzes both sensors as, a as large volumes of data fills the screen. A small thermal printer begins to spew out reams of information la laid in paper. Uh, the text is thick with mind-numbing scientific jargon, charts, graphs, cryptic electrical and anatomical diagrams, and some printouts of re reference books and notes on the table. The titles of the textbooks stand out, Cloning in Our Time, Dream or, Dream or Reality, Robotics, Cybernetics and Cloning, The Future is Now, Clon Cloning Theory and Practice, Life Everlasting TM, Business Prospectus, A New You. The list continues, but one component remains the same, the name of every on every title page, Professor Irvin John Finster, PhD. Every ranger knows the name of Irvin John Finster, the director of the infamous Project Darwin and an old enemy of the Desert Rangers. Rosie's tenant, Irv, has some explaining to do. Yeah. Mm. We also have a cloning machine over here. What happened to Marshall Kwan? That's a good question. Uh, can, can you can you press on the eye in the top right and hover over him? 
The stink evasion. Oh boy, ain't nothing covering you up. Can only be removed by antidote or doctor and PC. Oh boy. We, we will go to doctor. Yeah. Okay, um, what is this? Cloning machine. The readouts and graphics are flatlined now that the clones are dead. Given specialized knowledge and the right resources, it might, it might be possible to, possible to make more. Uh, no, thank you. Me, hey, so. There's also a safe, but that's lockpicking six. What? Okay, give me a second. We will go to the doctor, so it's fine. I will not heal. I just gonna level up our lovely servers. Rolling, Shaolin surprise. Yeah. Okay, and the attributes. Look. No. Uh, changes. More strength. Okay. Wait. Never mind. We can go talk to the lady. We can. Rosie Wong. Hey, Karen. So, what'd you find in apartment three? Was he making bombs like I said? I mean, technically, he had some, sh had some shrink grenades. Uh. Yeah. He wasn't there, and it's weirder than that. Yeah. Weird or how? Trust us, don't ask. Uh... What do we want to go for? Should we tell her or just... Please stay out It's not safe them? in there. Yeah. Please stay out until we find him. Oh, his security deposit's not gonna cover the repairs, is it? No. If he wasn't in his apartment, then he's probably at the bookshop in Market Square. Look for a skinny guy, always wearing a lab coat. Let me know what happens. Oh boy. Will it not help if we put on the science clothes? So he thinks that we are a fellow scientist? I think so. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go to the doctor. Actually, so... let, let, actually, let's go in the museum first, since we're right next to it. Oh, I wanted to heal Reika to full. Go heal Reika. I just don't know where the the huh? the doctor is. I wanted to do it for free, you know, the doctors. I don't think they are gonna heal us for free. Again. Hmm. Give me a second, I just need to give Cerberus another shit. She can use. Okay. What do I have? Oh jeez, oh jeez, frames, what the fuck?
I just got a massive frame drop for some reason. Oh. Um, here it's the gangs of the east huh? lanes, hoping to rob us of a worldly game. Also, so I'm coming and he rolled up his sleeves. He said, You're wrong. He's somewhere here. See that? Do you hear? I, I hear it, but I have no idea who he is. One second. Oh. Found him. What game if we can? Wait, I want to join the conversation. This animatronic figure is dressed like a marshal. Nothing differentiates it from any of the other figures in the display. And yet your radio is picking up weird noise from this spot, just the sort of digital transmissions that should be coming from a synth, according to Gary Wolf. Nerdstar 4, use your radio to create feedback on the synth's broadcast frequency, which should stun the synth. Oh yeah, that would be great! With a few tweaks, your radio emits a strange oscillating screech. As it grows louder, something at the base of the synth's neck pops. Its eyes swivel to meet yours and it can't move any other parts of its body. What did you do to me? Let me go! It's a child's voice. Uh, easy now. Don't be hasty. Why don't we talk? Says we shouldn't talk to humans, but but I don't want to die. One, press the down so first, just first, take it I easy. Yeah. I I guess. What do you want to know? We know more about you. I don't even know much about me. I haven't been alive for long. Who are you? And why are you called October 11? Yeah. My name's October 11. I'm from Arizona. At least, that's where we started. When are you called October 11? It's the first thing I said. That's what Tourmaline told me. I woke up and I said it. October 11. I know it's important because it's always in my head, but I can't remember why. Yeah, why do you sound like a kid? Yeah. Tourmaline says I was made to trick humans, but I got put in the wrong body. I should be in a little body. Then no one could guess what I was. Could be safe. Not a fan. Who put you in that body? Another synth, I think. I don't remember. The first thing I remember is waking up with Tourmaline in a house. We were hiding.
Tourmaline says we were together for a while before that, but that's as far back as I know. So let's get something else. Okay. You you sound very reluctant. Me? Yes. Yeah, I am not a fan of synths. What are they? Tell me. Uh, androids, basically. Robots. And why um, are they bad? In, in most stories, used to infiltrate or replace humans. And oh, or destroy. So, yeah. They're in Fallout 4 as well. Uh, and in that story, they are basically used to replace leaders and influence the wasteland's politics and like that kind of stuff. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Rarely are they good people. <laughs> it doesn't sound bad, stories. but who, what do we know? Uh, f for this guy, we know nothing. We know that. I mean, I, I haven't played the previous game, so I don't know the, the, the story. One of the previous games. Hmm. We, we only know what, what Gary told us. That the synths in this game tried to wipe out and kill the rangers twice. So in the, I'm assuming in the two previous games. I would not kill this, this one, but I would kill Tourmaline. Yes, yes. Mm. That's what you got here. We fled across the mountains from Arizona. It was just Tourmaline and me, but we picked up signals from from others like us. We thought maybe we'd find a safe place. And yeah, I, I mean, you heard him say has heard him say it himself. Like he was made to trick humans. He was supposed to be in the child's body. Yes. Yeah. Who's Tourmaline? My protector. Another synth like me. We got separated and I'm on my own now. We heard you and Tourmaline killed some people, is yeah. that true? Tourmaline called it preemptively defending ourselves. No. All humans want to kill synths, so we've got to kill them first. It's a matter of survival. Yeah. Be turned off. Where did you end up here? Some human hunters came for us and we ran. There was a fight and I... I lost Tourmaline. I couldn't go back. They were chasing me, so I hid here. Ah. Okay. What do you t intend to do now? All I want to do is get out of here and find some place better to hide. Somewhere far away from this city. Will you let me go? And you're gonna kill more people? If they find me, I'll have to kill them. If humans know where I am, they'll hunt me down and turn me off. Well, tell us where Tremoline is. I don't think he knows. You'll kill him if I do. Anyway, I'm not really sure where he went. We can mm -hmm. arrest? Yeah, we could arrest them. I mean, it's the safest bet. I don't really want to let him go. But I don't think I don't think you want to destroy him completely. But let's let's arrest. No, never let them take you. That's what Tourmaline says. I'll break out before you can put your fingers in my brain. I'll kill everyone else there. 
You've got two choices. Let me go or kill me. I don't want to let him go. Yeah. This drunk. I'm not gonna let him go. Mm -mm. I don't trust him. Well, you wanted to kill people. What did he have? I don't know. You, 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 you ah. leaving him. His head. And his brain. Leg. It's crap. Yeah, what, wait, what else did we have? Uh... Give me oh, a yeah. second, I'm just gonna check the message that I sent. Oh, um... Lucy, I need to go for a little second because I need to tell Code what to buy. But I'm gonna be right back, not 15 minutes. I'm gonna be right back. Okay. I'm gonna go search for the doctor. Maybe I'll join the marshals. I do like rubbing people up. You can calm down a second, fresh pot. I'm sure they could use my help. Nice chat. You uh nope. Uh hi. Do you have any books on cloning? On what? Clowning? No, no clown books, sorry. No, no cloning! You know, using your own genetic material to make a new human. Oh, you mean fucking! Yes, I've got plenty of books about fucking. What? No! No, not fucking! Cloning! It's how you make new humans without sex! Jesus, why would anyone want to do that? <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, so he doesn't actually sell to us, unfortunate. Oh boy, lots of banging around in there. Sounded kind of dangerous. <laughs> I heard some ruckus in there earlier, but it's my job's to guard the door, not go inside. I know what's good for him. Sex the best part of the fuck. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna have to take your word for that. Ooh, I leveled up. When did I level up? Should be good enough. Recipe discovered. Malt of cocktail. I'm just gonna equip the turret, I guess.
I'm back, I'm back. Oh, no. I was just telling Kodu what to buy. Mm -hmm. Uh, hi. Do you have any books on cloning? On what? Clowning? You know, using your own genetic material to make a new human. Oh, you mean fucking. Yes, I've got plenty of books about fucking. <laughs> what? Hey Sephra, no, welcome in, how you doing? Cloning! It's how you make new humans without ah. sex! Jesus! Why would anyone want to do that? Okay. Well Better than where that, are the clothes? Huh? Where are the the clothes? What clothes? Well we looted those like white capes. Like Did white we? doctor clothes. Did you? Yes, I did. Oh, stethoscope. First aid plus one. You can equip that if you want. What? Where is it? At the top. In the left. Under all No, no, no. Things. Where is the... I don't, I, don't, the... I don't think we have any. Wow, okay. Cypra, hi! Let's go! How did you yeah. What did you eat today? Uh, so you can talk to him. Tall, lanky man is looking over the books on, on the merchant's stand, muttering nervously to himself. Hey, mind if we ask you some questions? Um, I guess. W who are you? Here today is the Rangers. We've been helping out around, around Colorado Springs. Is your name Irv? I... I... I'm Irv. What do you want? Wow. Um, we were in ta attacked in your apartment a few by a few guys who looked just like you. Any explanation for that? Or we found some papers in your apartment written by Irvin John Finster. Is that your real name? Yeah, the second one. I. Uh... He looks around nervously. Please don't tell the marshals, but I'm one of his clones. Unfortunately, I'm fourth generation, at least. So I'm not as smart as the original. Smart enough to, to use Dr. Finster's notes to get the cloning machine working again, but... But not smart enough to make good quality clones. I can't even make one as good as myself, and I'm not that good. Bits of me don't work very well at all. Okay, is he still alive? Yeah. The original? No, n not anymore, but I guess in a way, as long as I'm alive, he is too, because I'm him, aren't I? He pales suddenly and swallows. Or, uh, I mean, I'm him, but not the part of him that wanted to wipe out the entire human race, right? Yeah? I, I wasn't... I wasn't suggesting... no. You know the whole nature versus nurture debate? How some things are genetic and some things you learn? Well, that killing everybody part of him, that was nurture. He, he wasn't born that way, and... and... and, uh, and neither am I. I swear. Uh. You believe me, don't you? Hmm. Uh... Yeah, what do you but... know about him? You know about Dr. Finster. Oh, Dr. Finster was a genius. He's the only person in the world to have mastered the cloning of humans. He he may have become a little paranoid at the end, but that doesn't lessen any of the good he gave to the world. Uh -huh. Until he decided all humans had to die. He was a real humanitarian. Okay. Um, um, we were attacked in your apartment. Oh no! Did you kill them? Um, I'm afraid we had to, sorry. Oh, poor clones. They... 
they never really acted right. I, I, I screwed up the formula somehow. Yeah, so tell us more about these clones. Yeah. Like, what the well, fuck? Well, I, I guess I'm kind of afraid to make friends the normal way, so I made them an abnormal way. Only, I didn't do it very well. When they came out of the chamber, there was something wrong with them. They were really, really stupid and, and really, really crazy. And they, they just got crazier day by day. If, if I hadn't run out of the apartment today, they would have killed me. I'm a bad father. I'm a bad, bad father. Oh, boy. We believe you're not smart enough to threaten the human race. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I'm not. I'm totally not. So, you're not going to arrest me? Okay. Oh, we're not. In fact, if you bring your cloning machines, you're welcome at the Ranger headquarters. We can could use scientists like you. Are you sure? Yes. Ah, okay, sure. Fuck it. Let's go. You're gonna let me be a real scientist? This is the best. I, I'm so grateful. I'll do good work for you. I promise. Thank you so much. Oh boy. So... Oh yeah, Clone Wars. Clone Wars, oh fuck, now. Make an entire army of us too. Is Quan okay now? Quan? Probably. Okay, frames are weird. Rosie Wong. Uh, we found Earth and he won't be coming back. You can clear out his room now. About time. It's gonna take me a week to clean up that mess. What was his deal anyway? Yeah, you don't need to know. It's all taken care of. Yeah. Ah, serves me right for asking, I guess. Well, thanks anyway. Here's a little something for getting him out. Oh, my sciatica. Be seeing you, Rosie. Okay, I I will level up. Attributes. What will I give you? Let's see. Yeah. What? Third eye. Critical chance plus five percent. Status effects. Chance. On in evasion initiative combat speed kill chance charisma hmm Okay. Confirm. Skills. I give Lucia more barter. Nice, nice. It's kind of weird that barter isn't one of the skills that just always applies down the to the entire party. Yeah. So it's like so... Argu arguably one of the more important. Let's go to Little Vegas and let's get some money. Thank you. Well, 
Will be fun. Spirit of Eric, welcome in. How did you sleep and what did you eat today? Hello, hello. Okay. Welcome back, friends. Pay to play a hand of blackjack, wins pay even money. So, barter five. Once again, you successfully keep track of the cards and bet heavy when the time's right. You win big, the dealer gives you a fishy eye. You're on a streak, aren't you? Maybe you should quit while you're ahead. <laughs> uh, maybe. Put up a hundred dollars. Oh, should we risk it? Yeah. You went big once more. This time, though, the dealer gives you a cold stir as she hands over the handings. Uh, hands over your All wings. Right, buckos. It ain't illegal to count cards, but it also ain't illegal for Mr. Brigo to ban you from playing here. You're done at this casino. For good. Vamos. Ma. No can do, pallies. Mr. Brigo says you've taken him for enough. If it were up to me, I'd let you play, but he's the boss. Boo! Oh, slut! Come on! Boo! Boo! I say. Let's 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 talk to Mr. Brago. <laughs> Mitch. Wait, we don't even have that much. How much should we actually win? Come on. We did not win anything, I believe. Good luck. No. We are still on $910. Wait, do you not want to equip the stethoscope? Oh, yeah. Give me a second. So, what do I do? First aid point. Uh, modify weapon. What do I do? Huh? The scope? Stethoscope. It's a charm for first aid. Not a weapon mod. Oh. Stethoscope. Ah, thank you. I w I know <laughs> Oh, it's all Wayne, good. Wayne, stupid. Stupid. Wayne. Wayne, stupid. Stupid. Oh, I can put a scope. And an underbarrel. If we had any. If we had any. Well, if we have a... Tactical grip. Weapon mod handle. We can actually upgrade that if you want. If you want to use Rolling it. Weapon. Oh! Um. Yeah! I want it on my brawling weapon. Okay. Let's upgrade that to a uh, grooved grip. Do you, what? what? How much weapon modding do you have? Five now. Five weapon modding and five armor modding. Mm, I get it. Because uh, they're the razor box that requires six yeah. weapon modding. Yeah. You can equip the ring though, arc weights. Wait, yeah. Okay. Hey, did you unequip your sniper? Uh, no, 
I have it back. Oh. No, we found that, I believe. I call it, it looks like it's gonna split some serious photons. How do you know a charm? Where, how do you find huh? out it's a charm? Uh, they're under uti utility, I think. Usually. Utility, you say? Wait, how? All items, weapons, armor, ammunition. Usable items. That's weird. Why is it? That's weird. Spirit of Eric, what is that? So <laughs> many caveman SpongeBobs. So many. So I, I don't see it. What? What we do we have some other charms? No. All of okay. all of the ones that we have are equipped, I think. Okay, okay. Can you reload? What do you mean? So I can uh, lose some ten dollars? Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Never really, never even would have thought of that. Wait. Oh, nope, that's the wrong. <laughs> Why is it? Why am I losing frames that hard? I don't know, Lucy. Is your is what? Is your game like set on the right um, resolutions and stuff? It is, yeah. It's only like sometimes. I don't know what's causing it. 90% of the time it's fine. Then I just get a few seconds of super low frames. Oh yeah, here, when we... before we go in. Okay. Okay, Lucia, it's, he, it's time to lose. Heck yeah. Enjoy your time in our elegant establishment. Don't worry. Friends, pay to play a hand of blackjack. Wins pay even money. Play some blackjack. Yeah. Uh, if got a four and queen for a total of fourteen, dealer shows king. Total is 16. Yeah. Yes, total 21. Well yes. played, friends. Another hand? Just put down a small bet. I mean, do we have to lose? I can't just stay on the lowest. Well played, friends. What? Another hand? 
Just put down a small bed. Okay. Um. You were on other games. Looking for one of those old Brigo classics, huh? He used to run three card money back in the real Vegas. I could run that. Easy rules. Put down a small bet and I lay down three cards. Two are tens, one's a queen. Pick old Queenie and I pay you even money. Um, three card money. Why not? Okie dokie. Fast money it is. Which one? Middle. Middle. Let's see here. Ah, oh, that's a tenor. The house wins. Okay, now invest a hundred. Yeah, it gives you a fishy eye. Wait, hundred money lost. You're on a streak, aren't you? Three sixty gained. Maybe mm -hmm. you should quit while you're ahead. Uh huh. Yeah, it doesn't let us. Mm. No thanks. Let's let's just keep the gambling option open. Can do, pallies. Yeah, we're on 1380 now. Me, what? He's the boss. What? Sorry, friends. Mr. Brigo says no more gambling for you. What? Can you reload? Huh? I don't know. I don't know what the fuck just happened. Okay, you can gamble. You can gamble and probably win, but like that was I'm ready. But I've heard a rumor that there's an exclusive secret dance party up at Aspen every year. I'm for sure gonna Yes, so there's a, like a, a total win limit. <laughs> there's a freaking strat there's a freaking strategy lie. on on Reddit to win up to fifteen hundred dollars. Wow, nice. I have lock picking, Jimmy. Open the front panel to reach the inner works. Uh, I think that would be... Uh, I, that would put us on trouble. Yeah, probably. But I can hack the slot machines, make control to fix the odds in your favor. Uh -huh. Okay. What? How much money did you put in there? One dollar! We lost like 200. Okay, this, this thing is just completely broken. Let's just do one, let's just do one regular gamble, uh, one barter thing and then wait, leave. Wait. Yeah, we cannot lockpick, we cannot do our stick. Hey, are you gonna play a normal gambling game? None of my fucking abilities. Fuck that. We've got drinks, dancing, and games of chance. Pick your poison. You not wanna just Grab one winning on blackjack and then leave. It's less trouble.
Did you did you uh have a game? No. Why not? Just a normal like card game. No. Uh, I won't do it. Did we get any money? As you wish. This table's always high. No. Nope, we lost 80 bucks. Okay, let's go. Or just do that one black deck bounty thing and we just and we'd be up 200 bucks. You can do that. I can't. You have the you have the freaking butter. You have to join the conversation. Oh, yeah, that, that no. <laughs> I like to gamble. That's why I kept asking you. Uh, um, I like I like the gamble thing. Okay, where we yeah, go now? I never freaking do that. Uh, you want to talk to Wolf first, or go to Broadmoor Heights and talk to Gideon? You know, I leave that to you. Lovely. Let's go talk to Gideon first, then. Actually, let's check on the let's check on the clothing store that we defended. Oh yeah. Hey, Josiah. It's our friends who helped us save the shop. What can I do for you? We've got some discounts with your name on them. You and your wife get along well. Hardly a crossword between us. She no says nothing but rolls her eyes behind him. Oh boy. Uh. Leo, what can you tell us about your shop? Looking quite sparse right now. Making clothes and adornments for the hundred families for thirty years. Most of them won't buy from anybody else. Of course, we sell to regular folks too. Plenty of less expensive items in stock. Repurposed or restored garments, mostly. Hmm. Shows what you have for sale. The old man smiles happily and show, starts showing you his wares. Oh. Hmm. Arm. Arm with pads. Mm. Maybe mm, there are the 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 the, the muddings and and the combat belts. Could do that. Quick slots plus one. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. What do you want from that? Let's see, let's do... Mm. 
I would like on Cerberus spans one of the ar the combat belt thing you. Mm -hmm. I will place the pant into the inventory. No, I, I think you should be able to do it yourself, right? Maybe. Uh-uh. Wait, 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 wait. We could upgrade the aramid pads to uh, trauma plate inserts, so they give four armor instead of two. We get our servers spent. Oh wow! I upgraded the mods that we could upgrade. Mm, nice. So the horned thing, I want because she's our um tank. Mm -hmm. You want crit resistance or status effect resistance? Status effect. And for the pants, you wanted the quick slot, right? Yes. Thank you. You know, because she needs to. Big know hits, how to... yeah. Mm -hmm. She's on twenty three armor. Holy shit. Yeah. She's our tank. That's why I'm now like putting a lot into her uh like speed. So she moves faster. Move faster and can dodge. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, uh, can you save? Definitely. Tell me when you saved. Saved. Another level up. Jesus. Junk pumper, okay. Auto shotgun. Damn. Alloy barrel. Barrel. Okay. They did. Bit. They did not get angry. Damage plus two. Who got the? Oh, I got it. Hmm? Okay, lock picking. Definitely lock picking six. Because I need it. And. I would really love to put more into my sniper rifle, but I need to put more into my nerd stuff. Or I can put more into my lock picking. So many options, so little points. Okay, I put more. I, I have lock picking seven now. Oh, wow, Cerberus is the only one that's still on the level 6. Wait, nerd stuff. Over that side effect, all ble bleeps are permanent place with bloops. Robot will hack. Once you hack, will not be attacked by other enemies. Uh, 
Oh, Did Ranger seal a deal with the Vegas mob? Fry go By order of the Patriarch. Only oh. authorized personnel are to pass this gate. Okay. Oh, you're inside, okay. My uncle, Gideon Reyes, wants to speak to the Rangers. Oh, of course, Miss Wesson. Open it up, fellas. The gate opens before you. Okay. I'm running. Um, you're running. Wait, did you upgrade everything? You still have an attribute point. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I, I, I got was, you I in the conversation. Well, I, I thought that... It, never mind. Uh, <laughs> give me a second. Good night, Ravana. Enjoy your rest. Fine, there's melee damage, speed, intelligence. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's go, Broadmoor Heights. <laughs> Night, you two bad gamblers. Ah, oh, <laughs> how could you? Oh, uh, wait to check. Need to reload my stuff. Don't more. It's too soon to be back. Okay. The windows are thick and double paned. No expense was spared to keep out the cold. What? Wait, wait. So they killed the Wessons, the Boy, Schultz, Lucia. the Jacksons. Who are we talking to? Uh, nobody. I was just listening to a conversation. Ah, okay. But it's broken, apparently. Oh my so... god, a little robot, wait! Oh, okay. I understand. I roger, will not roger. Touch. No touchy. So oh, we got luck picking six safe. They were here. Their spirits filled the place. Oh, this is her house. They do not. Mm hmm Mama used to love sitting in here. She'd be ashamed of the mess it's in now. Only person who knew the combination to that safe was my mom. It's yeah. I think you can guess it. I don't mind. Are you gonna listen? My dearest Lucy, I pray this message finds its way to you, as it is the last I'm ever likely to give. Whatever becomes of us, you must be brave yourself. I know you would have wanted to be here at the end. Your mother, she will be a scrap of the woman you've become. You are destined for great things, Miss Lucille oh. Wesson. And I regret that I shall not live. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh, that's a bunch of traps. Yeah. Wow. Daddy really didn't want any Dorsey's to muck around with his cooking supplies. Yeah, I could con could design one of them. Just some ammo, some money, and a big lighter. <gasps> Toaster. Uh, um, there. You need to disarm the explosives on the container. Yeah, yeah. Instant disco bot. Quick slot item. It's too bad it doesn't have space for a tape deck. These might be popular at parties. Nice. Lucky money bonus. Some dollars and an old handkerchief. 
boost box. Can open the weapon crate up there. Hmm. What you got? Ben thrower. Some new stuff. Oh. I thought that I can maybe attack these. What? You just punched yourself. <laughs> oh. Looks like the Rosies ransacked the house and tossed broken furniture into the hallways. It's too cluttered to get through. Here beyond the rubble. It's dark, but you can make out smashed scraps of wood and splintered doors. It doesn't look like the attackers left much of anything behind. No point looking back there. It's smashed up even worse. And the Dorseys took everything worth stealing. Hmm. So, nothing more interesting in here, I guess. Hmm. I feel like we should, should be able to get further, but yeah. I mean, we, we can keep going in this direction. Maybe we'll, f maybe we'll find... No, we, we won't. It's, it's closed up. What? Junk pile? Mm. Yeah, just junk and crafting crafting things. Oh, the statue, has statue. Been, has been weathered by time and the elements, but you can still see the resemblance. As leaders of the hundred families look on, Isa Buchan Buchanan. Buchanan passes the flag of the United States of America to his son, the future patriarch of Colorado, Saul Buchanan, calling upon him. Oh wait! Uh, to protect and glor glorify it to the end of his days. And there was a third person that is gone. Oh. You descend the narrow stairs and find the door to the bunker slightly ajar. I, I listen at the door. <laughs> Make, uh, They're playing D and D. It's awful dark out here. Maybe we should go inside. This was your idea. He said it would be cool to play a game in the park. I got a fifteen. Do I hear anything? You hear a faint scraping sound inside. Uh, like the sound of a skeletal foot dragging across stone. It's coming closer. Uh, did you hear that? It's just the wind. Ah! A pale dog! There's a pale dog watching us! What? Where? I don't see... It's coming after us! Run! Oh. Fuck. Ancient love letter. My dearest, I have left a puzzle for you as a test of our bond. This is the first of three special occasions in this park. Today is Sunday. I'm counting the days until we are together again. Mmm, grave robbing. That would be... my favorite. Let's see. What the fuck? Because on, I right. play a lot of Skyrim! Uh-huh, that's the excuse. Tree. A plaque on this tree says, Planted on the day of the Patriarch's birth, Tuesday, April 18th, 2028. This may be one of the three locations mentioned in the ancient love letter. Examining the tree carefully, you find a box that someone concealed in the trunk. The wood has grown round it, but a tiny keyhole is visible through a crack in the wood. Uh, lockpicking six. Can you join the conversation? Yeah. Uh, pick the lock using very tiny tools. 
Walker, the box is bigger than it looks. You pull out a tightly rolled bearskin. Unrolling it, you discover what appears to be an ancient and undelivered marriage proposal, along with quite a lot of money. I reckon it's a good thing this proposal was never delivered. Ah, young love. Glad I grew out of it. <laughs> but you're in love with a prostitute, um... Yeah, mm hmm Where did that doorway? Marshall? Behind the wooden boards, the door is splintered and broken. Through cracks in the wood, you can see a ransacked interior. Okay, we can find another way in. Maybe I don't. I don't think so. This is. I don't think this is one of those games where everything's available. But I guess we can walk around the place. I used to play on these streets. Now there's blood on. Marshall truck. Oh my god. Elite guard. What the fuck? I think this is the palace up here. Okay. Looks like gonna... it at least. You wanna Clinton. go in? Mm, I've told you before, drone. The patriarch isn't interested. <laughs> yes? Oh, <laughs> hello! Uh, you must be the Rangers. Are you in the conversation? Yep. I'm Diligent Joe, uh, the Patriarch's personal secretary. I make sure uh, only people who have official business with him get past his door. <laughs> you, uh, due to the importance of your mission, have Mr. Buchanan's leave to enter as necessary. Very, very of useful. Course, uh, that privilege could be revoked at any time, but for now, uh, please go on in. Hello, Joe. Ah, Miss Wesson. You you have my deepest sympathies on the deaths of your, your family. Thank you, Joe. So, normal folks can see the Patriarch? Uh, it used to be that we held town hall meetings where citizens could bring their grievances before him, but uh, that practice has changed in the last year or so uh, due to uh, security concerns. Uh, what's the story with the delivery drone? Some of the families used to drop off gifts for the patriarch, trying to gain political advantage. He got sick of Stack. dealing with it and banned the practice. That one drone won't give up, though. Terrible nuisance. Hi. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Uh... You me? Where is the drone? Let me. Let me. Let me talk to him with my nerd stuff. Oh, oh shit. Nice. Thank you. Uh, kiss ass. This other danger all just dip is the pair of the patriarch. We can accept your delivery. Many thanks again on behalf of my employer. Assistance has been low. Well, the drone has you the package. Uh, uh, it's light blinking. So we got a bunch of cool shit. Did you see? We're still receiving stuff. Oh my. Oh my, Lucy. Oh my. Can you put anything on this gun for me?
Anything nice? Lucy? Muted myself because I had to cough and forgot to unmute. Um, oh. But yeah. I, I removed my sniper rifle, your primary one. This one, right? My weapon. Um, I mean, you already have a barrel mod on it. So. If I yeah. have, have everything on it, then it's fine. Okay, I will take this. They are the same, but that doesn't matter. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Oh, cool, I think. Okay. Uh, there's some ammo boxes on the left here if you want to grab those. They're yeah, lockpicking. If they let us. You could try. Save the game. Having free ammo is the best. 100%. Welcome, Rangers. What about the mm. other side? It's nothing over here. It's, it's a, a bunny! A wabbit. It's wabbit season. Love go. Yes. <laughs> Let's see the patriarch. Statue looks like a much younger version of the patriarch. The guards who get posted here are so full of themselves. Plasma turrets, heavy machine turret. You're cleared for public areas own stop. Huh? The patriarch likes it quiet in here. So do we. Picking seven. Hinting. The yeah, that never happened. Oh, I have luck picking seven. Yeah, I don't think we should though. Quite honestly. Uh, the Buchanan, Soul Victory, Liberty, Valor, 2105, Cleo, 2072. Probably the mother. Probably. Uh, a smaller version of the giant patriarch statue in Market Square. Maybe this was the prototype. No sudden moves, understand? You cannot, we cannot even roll in the... Oh, who are these? Livia. What? Beloved Lara. Well, the old man. Oh! Oh. All of them had different mothers. Honestly, looks like it. Banner. Looks like the woven of some forgotten planes carrying feet along the bow. Imagine the jolly times around this table. Papers. Uh, adoption records. Melissa Howe. By Art of Saul Buchanan, the orphan will be presented as a legitimate heir of Claire Howe. All marshals present during the God Fisher raid are sworn to secrecy. Who was. Who got adopted? No? Melissa Howe. Uh, the papers appear to be a adoption records for one Melissa Howe. One section stands out. By order of Saul Buchanan, the orphan will be presented as the legitimate heir of Claire Howe. Marshals present during the Godfisher raid are sworn to secrecy. You don't recognize the name, but the house residence is, or was, in Broadmoor Heights. Hmm. Hey, Davius. Um, well... Not that wasted. Unfortunately. 
I do still have to work. <laughs> How are you doing today? Polite parlor pastimes, pages upon pages of games, playable in less than an hour. The games involving random chance have been crossed out. Very large shoes. Genuine Payaso footwear spattered with genuine Payaso blood. Ugh. Okay, let's go back to the guy. Let's talk to him. Rangers, welcome. How are you settling in? Uh, yeah. Everything's going great, thanks again for all your help. Thing, things are a little keto here, huh? The base he gave is the jet death trap. Okay, everything's going great. I think is the best. Yeah. Hello, Davies. Hello. Hello. Not at all. Now, what can I do for you? Um, I'm overworked, but otherwise fine. At least I get to work with your favorite coworker again. Nice. That's 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 always nice. Having good co-workers is nice. Yes. We have some questions. Ask them. What happened between you and the Dorseys? Couldn't help notice that you seem a favor your daughter over your sons. Have you ever considered expanding beyond the borders of Colorado? Have you thought about what will happen to Colorado after you're gone? Uh, that, with that, I would start. Mm. Oh, hello here! The lovely Rika as well. Hello, how did you sleep and what did you eat today, Davies? No. It just seems as you're not planning to pass the job to your children, it might be time to consider another successor. I've got years left to make that decision, Rangers. And I'm certainly not going to make it while all this is going on. Understandable. What happened between you and the Dorseys? Used to be my strongest supporters. Until we had an argument about how quickly democracy should be instituted in Colorado. When they lost that argument, they tried to usurp me. And... Well, until they attacked the city, I thought I'd wiped out the whole family. Apparently, Neelius led some of them into the wilderness. I should have been more thorough. I assume it was Liberty who put them up to the raid. They were never this clever before. Mm-hmm. Couldn't help noticing that you seem favor your daughter over your sons. <laughs> Can you blame me? If she wasn't as bloody-handed as she is brave, I'd have already passed the throne to her. Oh, boy. Unfortunately, she has no interest in governing, only ruling. Have you ever considered expanding beyond the borders of Colorado? Enjoy your dinner, Davies. The nation as you see it is my life's work. Only fools expand beyond their ability to govern. My dinner is getting ready in the oven. It's herb baguette. Serving after work. Thanks for asking, but I don't... But don't mind me. I'm just happy to lurk after a long day of work. That's totally okay. Enjoy your dinner. Let's back up. Fine. That's all. Get going, Rangers. We have work to do. Mexican? The man in an immaculate. Level 23. Oh boy. Yeah, we've got a long way to go. No sudden moves, understand? Eh. 
Wow. Who trust the terminal? That's just restricted. Uh, your current, current duty roster. Station East Wing on duty. Station Dining Room unassigned. Station Turret Maintenance on duty. Station Lobby Front Desk Reception duty unassigned. Submit shift change request. And then name will use backspace key to cancel. <laughs> Enter a random name. Name haver McGillicuddy. Unknown user, please check spelling and try again. Aw. Hit backspace. I don't have yet nerd stuff seven. Yeah. There's a note pinned here. Hey Charlie, we all know afternoon third duty bites, but clean up your mess, thanks. Used to get lots of visitors. Not anymore. Uh, the love puzzle guy? Scuttlebutt is. He's been trying to get rotated into her unit. <laughs> oh, we gotta make this happen. You you ever see Roz go all ice queen on some poor no, soul cycle? Jacob, you lost the bet, so you make the coffee. Make the coffee. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Huh? What? You better not start any. Hey, you're not supposed to be back here. Oh, okay. Yes, Lucy? I don't think there's any anything important up in here for now. And we cannot lock by that part. Stay sharp out there, Rangers. A painting dates from before the apocalypse. It depicts a city with an unpronounceable name in a place called Europe. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> wow. Place called Europe. Wow. Okay. Melissa, how? Oh, look. I don't believe we were having a conversation. I'd certainly remember that odor. He's the one that got adopted. <laughs> Hold up adoption record. Yeah. Does this look familiar? How did you get that? I... I see. You have me at a disadvantage. I knew this day might come, but I didn't think it would be at the hand of strangers. Hand over those documents. In return, I'll use my considerable influence to ensure you are well known and fondly thought of among respectable sorts of people. Mm -hmm. My people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or reputation, I'll take that. Mm -hmm. Lucia frowns and looks uncomfortable but doesn't say anything. Good, I'm glad we have an understanding. She glances around before taking the documents and tucking them into her clothes. I'll let everyone know about the fair and honorable rangers. Word travels fast in my circles. Nice. Game increased. Oh, nice! And 100, fam 100 families, liberty plus 10. Oh! Um, at your approach, the servitor twitches and heaves, rising to its full height. Finishes with a burst of static and sparks. Uh, we have information. Oh, that's the guy that we killed, isn't it? Mm -hmm. We have information about Bellamy Ward. I need more nerd stuff. Yeah. So what's the other option? We just want to take a look around. 
Uh, the servant just slumps forward, going inert. Then, without warning, it arouses itself. Your presence has not been requested. You may not pass. Boo! Uh, Boo, I say! Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Sparks burst from the back of the servitor's head. It appears to be looking past you and in the at an imaginate crowd. While the crime around here happens indoors. I mean, I guess we you could lockpick it. Mm. But I don't know if he's going to be happy about that. No, no, no. I will. Uh, he might alert somebody, so I will wait till I have another. Who is this? know this drone anywhere it was my father's favorite oh, damaged when the Dorsey's raided our house the drone is clearly malfunctioning vibrating against the cobblestones as its speakers emit a faint continuous squeal you're not supposed to touch that it belonged to the Wessons I've got orders to keep everyone away this a six yeah. You see, you're a Wesson. Doesn't that make it the drone your property at the bottom? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's me. It's Sorry. your conversation. <laughs> That's right. I recognize that drone. It ran little errands for my father and alphabetized his books. Are you going to stop Miss Wesson from accessing her property? Yeah. No, I, I mean, no, ma'am. Please don't mind me. Go ahead and do whatever you need to do. As far as you can tell, the drone is stuck in some sort of loop. Its chassis is banged up, so the damage may have led to an internal fault. Right, stuff too. If the robot's operating system crashed, it might initiate a reboot sequence. Mechanics too, it might be possible to rewire the servitor bot without shutting it off. That it would allow you to force the system restart, in theory. Okay. Wanna hard crash it or hot wire? Uh, mechanics. Mechanicus. You smell burning plastic. After a moment, some internal fans kick in, then a scent fades. Oh! Hey, look at him go. Locate hidden treasure. Don't stop him. Okay, we gotta let him, follow let, him. Let him cook. Where are you taking us? I'm assuming in the garden here. Oh. Mm. Camera just moved really weirdly. Hey! A frag grenade, a law, rocket launcher, one rocket, 7.62 ammo, dollars, scrap, and viscoelastic plates. Nice. Now I'm gonna talk to him again. Wszystko, co nam powie. Hmm? Yeah, he welcomes us home. Okay, let's go in that house up here, or church, or whatever it is. Always a pleasure to see the rangers. I wish they'd get a younger preacher to come and give some chicken in there. You just want eye candy. Guilty. 
Where's power? Switch. Yes. Cyborg chicken. Hey. Uh, negotiated settlement increases kiss ass by one. Awesome. All in, soldier. You're a ranger now. Uh, which one of us had kiss ass? I think. Oh, Quan did. Okay. Quan. Go. You know, Kiss ass is his highest stat now. Oh at my. Seven. Hopefully. Miriam Knox. Can I go into conversation? Yeah. The middle aged woman murmurs quietly to herself, her hands clasped in prayer. When she notices you standing nearby, she looks up and you can see tears streaming down her cheeks. Oh, thank God. You're the Westerners, aren't you? The Rangers? Mm-hmm. It's us. Need our help, ma'am? My husband, my hearty, was an Aspen when Vic Buchanan raided the town. Vic took him hostage, but there's been no word for weeks. I know it's frightful wicked to hope for the safety of one soul over many, but I beg you, find him, save him if you can. No need to beg, Mrs. Knox. We have business of our own with Vic Buchanan. If your husband's alive, we'll find him. The older woman flinches, raises her hand again, and risks a smile. Why is she flinching? I don't know. Lucia, Why does she have to risk a smile? Yeah. I didn't see you there, Lucia. You're a good girl. Always have been. I'm dreadful sorry for your loss. Oh, that's why. Hmm. Lucia nods at the words but quickly looks away. We have money, Rangers. Even though we don't live fancy like some families do, if you bring my hearty home safe, we'll donate all we can to your cause. Nice! Can you describe your husband? He's a little on the portly side. Always well-dressed. But he likes playing cowboy out on the ranch. Kindest man in the hundred families. That's why I married him. Mm hmm. Mm. Sorry. He's a little on the uh, side. You're from one, Always one of the hundred families? But he likes playing cowboy out on the ramp. Yes, but we're homebodies, and neither of us is very political. We own bison ranches out east. Bison ranches? Damn. With half its meat. Oh, nice. Uh, we found his old journal. Yeah. Eh. 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 Should I? Yeah. Yeah. Click it. Click it. We found this old journal in in our hot court. It, it men mentions the Knox family. Any interest in it? Let me see who. Allie Blue, Aunt Allie, my. Goodness, of course. I'd love to read this. Blue is my maiden name. Back in the old days, the Blues and the Noxes hated each other. Old Aunt Ali almost shot me when I told her I was gonna marry Hardy. Always wanted to know what things were like when she was young. Oh, thank you, Rangers. Let me give you something for this. Uh, yeah, we found a cybernetic chicken in the church closet. Ever seen it before? That's the first time we ever get to acknowledge this freaking chicken. He's real? I've seen him poking around the church at night, but I wasn't sure if my mind was playing tricks on me. Didn't dare get too close. I left him some food, just in case. 
corn and scrap metal. He seemed like such a good, strong chicken. <laughs> well, um, do what we can, Miss Knox. Yep. I know you well. Thank you, Rangers. Priest of the Very final deluge. Prepared for the deluge to come. Oh, here! Gideon Reyes, that's the guy that we were supposed to talk to. Okay. This man looks like he might have been drawn by a mathematician. Precision cut luxury and manicured good looks. Ah, uh, you're the Rangers, yes? I'm most pleased to see you. I'm Gideon Reyes. Uncle Gideon, you heard about my family? I did, Sobrina, and I'm so sorry. You know you always have a place in my house, for as long as you need. I know. And I am grateful. But I have a place with these rangers now. We mean to see justice done for my family. Is that so, rangers? Are you... Um, that's right, your niece is a deputized ranger now. She was always an impressive girl. My sister would be proud of her. Here what? Now, I expect you're here about my call. There is a situation in Colorado Springs that requires a delicate touch. But first, you need to know the truth about this city. Colorado Springs isn't as prosperous as it pretends. We can barely feed our existing population. And now, smugglers are bringing refugees into the city every day. If we had enough food to support them, we would welcome them, but we don't. Mm -hmm. I see. I've asked the Patreon yeah. to chase off these smugglers, but he says the crisis with the Dorseys and his children have left the marshals spread too thin. It seems he'd rather just have Sheriff Daisy keep putting refugees in the pillories rather than stopping the tide at its source. It's infuriating. And that is why I've called you. Yeah, where, where are they even coming from? The Plains, mostly. After the Patriarch defeated the Eastern Gangs, people started settling out there, thinking it was safe. Now the Gangs have returned. And all the homesteaders are fleeing back to Colorado Springs. If the Patriarch doesn't care about these smugglers, we'd be doing this on our own time. Will you pay? Or are you expecting us to do this for the public good? Pay us. Oh, pay of us! Of course. And not just in money. Oh, there's the mechanic. Of business with the local Arapaho garage. And I can get them to provide you with mechanics to service your vehicle. They always have the best, and I'll pay for everything. Okay, we'll look into this. Thanks for the alert, G. Seek. Hope you're having a good time. Are operating out of the bazaar, a trader's market east of Colorado Springs. When we'll you see. find them, well, do what you can. Convince them to take the refugees elsewhere. Convince them to stop entirely. Arrest them. I just want this problem to go away. Lucy, you sound very, very tired. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> that was a yes or no question, Lucy! Um, you cannot answer, baby. No, I'm not. I'm not tired. Tired specifically. I'm just a little bit low energy at the moment. Oh, baby. So am I. Don't worry. <laughs> hey, code. Welcome in. Baby, code, code. Could you did so you're back from the store? Thank you for agreeing to help. You are doing Colorado Springs a great service. Yeah, I'm sure. Goodbye, and good luck. Look! The Dorseys 
twist our faith to justify be vigilant in the gospel of nicholas an excerpt from the scripture of the holy deluge the final deluge will be no different guaranteed 100% waterproof and blood stain resistant colorado springs weatherproofing co the holy sun um, we know not <laughs> what form the final deluge will take some say steel others say But yeah, that's that's wait, there's a greenhouse. What? What? Where? Welcome to the right side of the track. No, over here, right next to the entrance. But I think it's just a thing to look at. Whoa! Greenhouse. Nobody nobody is starving in this part of town, assuming they're like cabbage, beets and parsnips. I mean it's better than nothing. What what is here? What is here? Let's Oh? Huh? What are you? Let me go through. <laughs> I wanna go in. Nope, no going through there for you. To HQ for now. Um. Are they playing Stardew Valley? I heard parsnips. <laughs> I think I love they are. Stardew Valley. I love Stardew Valley too. Yeah. I've been trying to play it with Isa and Kira together. Well, to join them, but I haven't really had any any opportunities yet. I have over eight hundred hours on, on on in in the game. Oh jeez. Okay, let, let me check. I don't think I have a 800, but... Uh, Combined. Uh, not only on PC. Yeah, because I, I play on my Switch, too. And on my phone, too. Listen, I really like the game, okay? Oh. <clears throat> Sorry. Look, I killed Lucy! I killed Lucy <laughs> inside the valley! No! <laughs> Lucy, I'm sorry. I love you. Please don't die. I'm not gonna die. Don't kill me off like that. Uh, but yeah, we can... that's our fourth chicken. Yes. The chickens are very happy now. Oh, we can talk to this guy. I have the head. Oh, yeah. Find that synth in Colorado Springs yet? Ah, uh, yeah. Here's the head. Where's the bounty? Um, but yeah, I'm on 274 hours for Stardew. No muss, mm. no fuss. How about that? All right then. Here's the cash, as promised. Now, uh, one more thing. I was kind of afraid you'd be as pussy as the AZ Rangers, but it looks like you're serious. So I've got another proposal for you. Okay. Okay. We need a base of operations for our synth hunt. And it looks like you've got plenty of space. What do you say? Can we set up shop here? Uh, you don't seem to like the Rangers much. You sure, sure you, you want to hang, hang around? around? Ranger squad I ran with an AZ was a chicken outfit. Failed to utilize me properly. Paid the price for it. But you did okay here. So I'm giving you a chance. Okay. Seek us on Bye. 620 hours. Nice. Yeah. yeah. I want to play more of it. Keep out of the way. And just to make the deal sweeter. How do you like to pick up a few more bounties? I like money. Me too. <laughs> so, what did you want to say? Hmm? You wanted to say something, Lucy. Did I? Yes. Yes, you did. Something about Stardew? I oh, am. Yeah. I, I wanted to... Maybe I'm maybe gonna start a new playthrough on my own. I... I mostly play on my own. I used to play with Kaiser. With Kaisy, sorry. 
I'm putting cream on my face because today I was out on the sun and, no. well, I'm not having the best time because I did not have um, sunscreen on oh, and I'm allergic to the sun. So now I'm constantly putting cream on myself so I don't feel the sting of the sun. The sun is a deadly laser. Jesus Christ. What? How did you how the fuck did you remember that? I I really like that video and I seen it a a lot. A <laughs> lot a lot. Okay, let's see. What's the most what's our most favorite uh, most played game? I mean, I hate to say this, but for me it's probably War Thunder. I'm sorry. For me, it's War Thunder. My most played game on Steam. You haven't? No. Oh. Uh, it's basically tank combat sim kind of thing. Or vehicle combat. Oh. I understand. How many hours? Um, close to 1900. That's 1,900? Yes. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm <laughs> on 1,856 hours. Wah. I... Give me a second, I need to check that too. Oh. Four. <laughs> yeah. I'm not really playing it anymore though. Kind of burnt out on it. Games. So, the closest the one after. Yeah, go on. Closest one after. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. Um, in terms of playtime on my Steam account, it's two thousand one hundred twenty-two hours for Tales of Berseria, but that's an outlier because I just had the launcher open. I wanted to see how high I can get the playtime. Um, War Thunder at eighteen hundred thousand uh, eight hundred fifty-six hours. And after that, it's VTube Studio at 1467 hours. <laughs> Which would be even higher if I was still using the other model. And will rise well, higher once I get my new one. Of course it will. It will look amazing. <laughs> my most played game is Stardew Valley. Mm. Right after that is Skyrim. Then it's Apex, Divinity, and Counter-Strike. I have, I have, yeah, I have one of those in my top ten. And that's Stardew Valley. <laughs> yeah, but for me, it's after VTube Studio, it's Fallout Four at eight hundred and four hours, Terraria at four hundred and fifty three hours, Snowrunner at three hundred and fifty seven, and Company of Heroes at three forty eight. Yeah. Then Dark Souls, Stardew Valley, Borderlands 2, Elden Ring, and Factorio. Wolfie, the dragon of war. <laughs> I do like blowing stuff up. <laughs> oh. My god. Give me a second. Just write code to put the food in. The food in? The oven. Yeah, how are you on food? Because you Stummy. Well, I am hungry, but I, uh, so I don't feel bad. I ate, uh, a bar. I bought a bunch of these, like, low carb bars. So I've stuff to eat. So, will you make dinner? Question mark. Put the meat in the cooking bag. Also, cooking bags are the, the best invention in the world. <laughs> Herbs, salt. Really? Do you do you know cooking bags? No. Never oh my one. god. You know DM, like like the DM, the the the, the grocery store. 
not grocery store, um, cosmetics and all of that. Yeah. So they sell these like stuff um, that is uh, cooking bags. It's basically this, it looks like a normal like thin bag but actually it's for cooking you place meat into it or or meat with potatoes then you bake it and the meat is tender as hell sounds interesting and tasty it's great uh what is uh, air fryer I'm I'm writing a very very quick uh, recipe. Oh, yeah, speaking of recipes, um, my parents apparently took our rice cooker back uh, with them to the other to their other house. <gasps> no, they took the rice cooker away from Lucy. I mean, uh, we weren't really using. Uh, it anyway, so... Yeah. Not that much of an issue. So do you live my, by, my, by yourself? Hmm? No? No, no, uh, we, I still live with, live with my parents. But it's the other place is more like... Uh, kind of a vacation home, I guess. Oh yeah, I know those. Yeah, they drive 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 down there occasionally. Next time is at the end of next week, I think. No, at the end of this week. I don't know. I don't know. Sometime this month, they're gonna, they're gonna go drive back down there for about a week. Hi, thank you. Are you a fried wife? Yes, I'm a fried wife. Fried wife. Well, it, this was starting to get too much. It was starting to get too much. I throw. I I, st I thought I gonna fry in here. My PC is very strong. You know, it's a strong PC. Okay, no. let's go. So, like I told you, since communicate with each other long distance, that means when I hack October 11th's head, I'll be able to find its friends. Unfortunately, we're still on the trail of a pack of eastbound synths right now, so we can't stop and hunt for these. But it's got to be done, so I'll pay you to do it. Cash for each head. You want the job? Sure, give money. Would you like money? Great. Now, let me just crack this egg. Wolf takes the head, expertly opens it, then wires it to a portable computer in his backpack and begins to poke and prod. After a few minutes, he nods and turns the screen towards you. It shows a map dotted with flicking li flickering lights. You see that light in the center? That's our current location. Actually, October 11's head. Those other lights around the middle one? Those are the other synths. Oof. That looks real close to Denver. Anything you can tell us about it? Hmm. A lot of interference. Maybe near a radio tower. Maybe two. Lots of other smaller EM signals, too. Probably got a whole bunch of robots around to protect it. Sting? Mm -hmm. How about the one that's a little further out from Denver? There's some wobble in the location signal, which means it's bouncing off the mountains from the foothills. That flickering means there's interference, so it's probably underground. Maybe it's coming from some kind of bunker or mine, or maybe a nuclear silo inside a dormant volcano, <laughs> like some kind of supervillain. <laughs> Aspen area Wait. that keeps flickering. Signals imprecise, bouncing around, maybe in the mountains. Hmm. 
Next, we got him. Great. The sooner you end them, the sooner you get paid. We like money. The bazaar yet? I hear they got everything money can buy. Stay sharp. Here will be. Oh, Irvis here. And Doc Parker too. Yeah. Hey, Rangers, I'm here at last. Uh, it'll take a while, but I think I'll be able to make an actual surgery out of this place. Just need to call in a few favors for equipment and supplies. If you need treatment now, well, I think I'm ready for that. What do you? No, think? we don't. We're good. All right. Uh, how's that? How's the patient of yours? Fine. Everything is fine. For now. Yeah, mm -hmm. everything's fine for now. I won't. Irv. I never do. Hi, Rangers. Thanks again for letting me work for you. This is so exciting. Glad to have you. Enjoying the work. I... I am so happy. I'm learning so much. All my life I wanted to be a scientist. But all I could do was read the books and dream. And now I can actually do things. It's incredible! Oh. Um, what do you think yeah, of Dr. Dr. Parker? Parker? Yeah. He's wonderful. He's almost as smart as Dr. Finster, but without all the, um, you know, evil. What are you working on? A square watermelon. <laughs> well, you know, they do actually have those in... In, in Japan. Yeah, they make those. Yeah, I ate. I ate one of those. Really? How was it? Yeah. Any different? It, it it just you know what every fruit in Japan is a novelty. Like in Japan, uh, everything every fruit is uh, very expensive and very well cared for. So it doesn't matter what kind of fruit you buy in Japan. Uh, it is always expensive, but always the top quality. So. Hmm. I had the sweet, sweet, sweet. Oh, hello, Godspeed. Hi, hey, um... welcome in. How did you sleep and what did you eat today? Welcome to the apple tree. Hello, hello. So, so in Japan, and thank you, I will stretch right away and hydrate. And in Japan, you then have the quality uh, insured. So it was, I would say, the freshest, most juiciest watermelon. I had a chance of tasting in my life. Sounds amazing. Also, I had the juiciest strawberries, the best uh, apple pies. <laughs> 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 so yeah, but if you go to a restaurant, let's say, or you can buy these like cut up fruits, like they're already cut up. Mm. Uh, and like packets, uh, that's not so high quality. The price tag shows it too. But, but, but listen, I have a photo of me next next to an apple uh, apple slices vending machine. Oh, they were okay. selling. Yeah, it was a vending machine that had fresh cut up apples and freshly pressed apple juice. So you click the button and they're gone an apple. It washed the apple in front of you, cut it and and packaged it. And you then were handed on a little tray the apples. That's kind of cool. <laughs> and when you wanted apple juice, because I bought both, it took a few apples and it squeezed them and you had freshly pressed apple juice. So cool. It, it was cool and it tasted super, super good. <laughs> okay. Can uh, you clone one of us? Yeah, can you? 
I mean, they, they would probably not turn out very well. Um, yes, theoretically. I can have the machine take your genetic material and run the process, uh, but um, no guarantee what comes Wanna lose some other. IQs with me? Sneaky wakey, snaky oh wakey. My. Why are we still <laughs> oh here? Oh my god. Um, just to also, like, hydrated totally and suffer. Stretch. I'm not hydrate Every again. night, my little heart feels all tingly wingly, okay. and even my cute little toysies. The body I used to have, the friends I continue. used to hug. It's like they're BTS all right here, at the snuggled up with me. Ah. You feel that warm and fuzzy feeling too, right? Tee Tilda. Now, I really hope you're not writing this stuff yourself. <laughs> But welcome in. How are you doing today? I did make a few tweaks to the process, though. So whatever it is, it probably won't be so angry. Probably. Oh, want to try anyway? Fuck it, let's go. <laughs> Fuck it, let's go. Yeah. Okay. Well, how exciting! Uh, but before we start, one tiny caveat: the process requires special genetic material, and I've only got enough for one clone. So. If anything happens to our new friend, try to recover its remains so we can reuse them. Okay. Now, put your palm on the machine right here. Placing your palm on the pad of Irv's machine, you feel a small pinprick. Irv shows you a pink pulsating pineapple sized glob of goo and tosses it into a hatch on the side of the machine. The machine whirs and rattles for a few minutes before a sound makes its way out, similar to air gurgling out of a Pudding filled balloon. The chamber shudders and the room rings with a wet, slapping noise. With an ears, ear ringing squelch, a high pressure, highly pressurized jet of goo fires out of the crack in the chassis. The chamber shudders and the room rings with a wet, slapping noise. Finally, the doors slide open and a gush of foul-smelling purple fluid pours out, followed by a grey-skinned, hairless and mucus-covered clone. Wham. Wham, wham. Hey, this one can talk! I'm sorry, what can it do? <laughs> it can what? It... Oh, be afraid. Be very afraid. Oh, Everything's no. for rest in peace. I'm sorry to hear you killed that synth. Um, They're not all bad, you know. Huh. Well, we now have a clone here. Thank you, Rangers. You saved my life. Um. You really think I have the power to write something so vile? I really hope you don't. <laughs> oh my God! It's it's your follower. Is it? Yes. It's following you. That chick don't want to know if we get her. Oh. Hey, it's the Rangers. What is it, where, where, what are these spread rumor things? Don't know what I don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah. Let me show you. Okay, what do you have? We can you, we can sell some of the guns that we have. Yeah, that's true. It's a bladed weapon, not a brawling one. Still have a better brawling weapon, I believe. 24, yeah. Oh, the army rifle, definitely. Yeah. Army rifle, the chunk pumper. But are you selling with the... Uh, yes, barter bonus, okay. Yes, yes. And sell the marksman rifles, I think, if, you, if, you don't, if you're not using them anymore. Yeah. 
Hog Hunter sniper rifle. What yeah. about the Argon Lens? No, I'm gonna keep that for now. Okay. But you can sell so one of the flamethrowers. Yeah. The Mangler you can sell as well. I have, I've got a better one. I got better rocket launcher. User. The fuser? Hmm? Fuser. Uh, no, no, no. We, we'll keep that as well. That can repair stuff at a distance. Oh, okay, great. great. Then um, we have road sign cle cleaver. Yeah, we can sell that one. And the road warrior as well. Yeah, I... Ooh. Yeah, I have... I have Lucia selling the stuff, and she has three three thousand percent. Three hundred. Three hundred. I'm sorry. I mean, three thousand would be awesome. <laughs> yeah, it would be. Yeah, but but he doesn't have anything that I, that I'd want to use. Spell junk. Yeah, he doesn't. So... Goodbye, my dude. He can't go further. Wow, you have a clone. There's a... Can you... Can armor you crate move? here. You can lockpick. No, I, I can't... I can't... Like... Interact with a clone. Can only talk to it. We got some stuff, some armor, four, seven, three, that's two. Mm -mm. Let's see. Um, but yeah, I think it's time to move out. Ready? Or do you want to do anything yeah. else? No, yes. let's go. We can come back anytime. We're leaving Colorado Springs for the first time. Woo! <laughs> After how many hours? <laughs> a lot. Oh, quite a few. I think 18 hours. Jesus. Yeah. My brother Jared, remember? No. And y'all ran off like cowards before I could find you. It's your conversation? Um, yeah, sorry, I was drinking. <laughs> I, was, I was kind of thinking that you were, judging by how your mother looked. <laughs> yeah. hear me kill a bunch of innocent folk because you was too chicken to save them. Trapped in their homestead, about three generations worth. And if you don't want them to be the next to die in the day you lose your blood, you better come up north and take their place. Okay. Okay, we can do that. Arrest the suit no idea who you are. Do you just want to, that? Just to piss him off, go for it. Uh-oh. Fuck. <laughs> the rest of them go when I get bored, Rangers. So you better hurry, because I was born restless. Okay, do we want to reload so we um save we that guy? Yeah, we, we can try. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we have to exit the conversation. Oh. Yeah. 
พาพาพาพาพาพาพาพาโอเค let's 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 leave It sucks that we have to do this every single time. Ready. Let's go. Let's go and don't piss off the guy because he's gonna fucking shoot the other guy. Yeah. And we don't want that. I mean, it, it might be uh, unavoidable. We'll see. It might. Now you're gonna come find me. Unless you want all of Colorado to hear me kill a bunch of innocent folk, cause you was too chicken to save them. Got a whole family trapped in their homestead. About three generations worth. I think on all of these, he's gonna kill one. Uh huh. Yeah, your bluffing is just gonna shoot that guy. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Come in November 1. Receiving an urgent distress call in your area. Patching it through. Are we gonna have to choose? Well, 44. Are you there, 44? The Rangers will get somebody to your location right away. Copy? 44. You copy? Ah, lost contact. You heard them, November. And listen, this isn't just any convoy. A44 is hauling new power armor for the marshals. Who's decking them? Unknown. But the Patriarch will expect us to make recovering that power armor our highest priority. Get there fast and you should be able to save that cargo. Over and out. Yeah... So we're gonna have to choose. Either we go for the caravan or the homestead. Because I think these are both time limited and when we, when we do one we lose the other. And... I think personally, um, I kind of want to patch things up with the marshals a little bit. Okay. Because we are already disliked. But I think we're gonna lose reputation with the refugees in instead. Okay, let's go with the Marshall thingy. What is it, baby? Oh, there. Oh. Oh, what did you run over? A deer. Oh, no. There's a bunch of blood. You won't get away with this. They'll hire mercenaries to put you down like rabbit dogs. You pathetic shit. You think we're scared of a few mercs? Huh? I won't give you to slave master Archie. 
I'm gonna keep you for myself. You can watch me murder rangers for years. When you finally lose hope, you'll use your head as a hood ornament. <sighs> Let's get started after I take your supplies. Okay. Well, Cerberus, let's run in. Wait, 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 wait. Let's, po let's yes. position ourselves a little bit. No, I need. What was that? That was your own? <sighs> that was Marshall Kwan. I... Yeah. I don't get why that's even possible. Me neither. Can you heal yourself? No. Um. It's fine, I'll just do it after. Woo! What? Oh, they're out of range. Well, the freaking car, apparently. I don't have enough AP to do nothing. Not even get in cover? Mm -mm. The clone is running in <laughs> and punching them. Okay, you're fine now. Okay. Time for an act. Rocket launcher. Hmm. So I'm but take him down clean. Uh, attack her. Just put her. Can I heal her? Wait, did, did you heal me? But no, you you healed on your on your own. Oh, I leveled up. Never mind.
sadness. Okay. I think you're going to be able to heal a bunch of people after combat, because there are a few people downed. Hmm. And what else do we have? Wait, that heavy machine turret is on 1 HP. Are you kidding me? Sadly, I don't have enough HP <laughs> to hit it. It's fine, I think Major Tomcat or the clone is gonna finish it off anyway. No, they're just gonna ignore it. Oh, nice. The clone killed somebody. Oh. What a piece of shit is, is this? There's a bunch of them. But I don't mind, I need the XP anyway. Yeah, we all do. The needs of the many. You should save the shipment of the park armor from the scar collectors. Okay, I'm curious what's gonna happen if I go there. Okay, I just move. Gotcha. Oh my god. Thankfully, we can't actually run ourselves over with the car. Also, the car has less HP than Major Tomcat. Second, I need a kit. Oh. Yes, we can. Where is it? Crafting. You a target. No. Okay, let's loot the guys. I cannot heal them. Yeah, I, I try to. It's kind of weird. Okay. Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, it doesn't. I don't care for that. That's gone. Is this? Oh, wow. Cardboard box crafting recipe. What did I found? Diggable. There's a kitty. Hey. Yeah, yeah. I I'm doing the... Doing the... Thingies right now. I level ups. Okay, I will. I will do it. Probably after. Should I do it now? I should. Shouldn't I? Okay. Attributes. Well, skills. I need my nerd stuff up. And uh, my awareness. Cerberus needs more weird science. Oh, yeah. Definitely needs more speed. And Lucia needs more small arms, definitely. What is the survival? This, this is what she needs. Confirm. Perks. And just one for us, 20% discount. We're not there yet. The weapon. Rather shot. Right gun that shell inflicts bleeding on any on hit. Opportunist. Strike a meter change. Always looking out for openings. Yup. Definitely. I do need that. And attributes. Coordination. Oh, here you are. Confirmed. Okay, I finished it. Nice. How many tie? A red tie with a black string on the back that reads no respect. Scrap helmet level 2. Just another junk. Well, but yeah, let's let's talk to the God damn it. They all went through the fucking fire. Yeah. I don't think we can talk to them. Cerberus, help my stupid character, please. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we can talk to them. But there is a locked door over here that you could open. Yeah, I'm on my way. Hey. You looted everything in here? Uh, I did, yes. Welcome to the Strike Back Pirate Radio. Striking back at big government with the most dangerous weapon in the arsenal of any resistance. The truth. I'm Brad Conway, and today we're going to talk about those strange reports from the Antarctic wastes. What are the creatures that have been sighted by multiple sources off the frozen coasts of Earth's southernmost continent? Some say there are human-machine hybrids stalking the tundra. Are some kind of monstrous government experiments taking place somewhere in those icy seas? And if so, who in our government is responsible? 
And what is the purpose of these unholy creations? Yeah. What is this? Leave area. Yeah. Uh, I think we're done. We got the... We got the... Pop-up when we killed one of the guys for the quest. Ranger HQ calling Team November. Come in. Yeah, we have a lot of interested parties asking about the Arapaho caravan. Anything to report? Look at how the Amish party has secured the cargo. It's on its way to Colorado Springs. Good to hear, November. Stay safe in the snow. Over and out. Yep. Let's see what the Erastus has to say about the about the homestead. I do feel bad for him, but yeah. Let's try to go there. This is the Patriarch. Steel Town, the factory I rely on to make the guns, armor, and vehicles needed for our war effort, is apparently having some kind of internal trouble, which is making them far less reliable. Deliveries have slowed to almost nothing, and what we do receive is often poorly made, or just not what we ordered. I need you to go there. Speak to the CEO, Abigail Markham. Find out what the hell is going on. And fix it. With all the current chaos, now is not the time for her to be falling down on the job. Colorado needs what Steel Town makes, and we need it yesterday. Get this done, Rangers. Thousand dollars. Let's try to go look uh, where the homestead was. Hmm? What was that? The homestead. Uh, the... Yeah, that's this guy now. The connection to the other player has been interrupted unexpectedly. Progress could not be saved. Rekka? Rekka's gone. Stream is dead. Um. I guess it's just me now? Um, that was unexpected. And she got disconnected from Discord call as well. Oh boy. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take a quick break. And we'll see if Riker can make it back. Be right back.
We've been trying to reach you concerning your vehicle's extended warranty. You should have received a notice in the mail about your car's extended warranty out. eligibility. Lucy. Back. Since we've not gotten a response, Lucy. we're giving you a final courtesy call before we close out your file. Lucy, Press 2 you. to be removed and placed on our do not call list. To speak to someone about possibly extending or reinstating your vehicle's Lucy? warranty, yeah. press 1 to speak with a warranty. Lucy's alive. God damn it. This was... I, I was... I took a bathroom break real quick. I'll leave her going. Ah, okay. I, I'm sorry, everybody. I'm very sorry. Is my model working? Uh, not on my side. Not on your side. Okay, okay. I will give you a new link. Maybe. Maybe it will work. In, in a bit. My PC is still starting up, and this made me... <sighs> this made me... Um... Thing that yes, I will fucking buy. Um, I will buy a uh, how it's called. Uh, you mean those those like batteries that can get you a few minutes? Yeah. Here you go, Lucy. Here you oh, go. No. Hi. A bit. All right. <sighs> um, yeah. Stream elements is not showing that I'm live. Am I live? You are live. I can see a stream. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then it's fine. Then it's fine. I was so close to crying <laughs> because I was like, Lucy hates me now. She doesn't pick up the phone for me. She doesn't Aww. love me anymore. Aww. Never not love you because of that. Yuppie's like a must if you have power problems. Uh... You mean like the, the, look, we don't usually have problems. The issue was that a bunch of electronics were running, like four, uh, four gaming PCs, uh, an air fryer, an air, uh, po uh, uh, no, an air fryer, an electric, uh, electricity powered, the fuck is it called, um, oven and the AC. So it. Oh, it, let's go to the other, the other way. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to check this camp here. Oh, radiation. Okay. Never mind. Oh. Oh no. Huh? Well, we were radiation. Room, room. Second, I'm, I'm gonna turn down. Room. It's a bit better. Uh, open. What is this? BB gun. A burly woman leans her head out of the window of a marshal's assault truck. As she drives off, you see the back of the truck is piled with Im impounded evidence. Oh, okay. So we probably could have bought her some stuff from her. Yeah, but we have Marshall Kwan, so... That's more radiation up here, I think. Yeah. Sorry, what?
abandoned building. Not much more than a glorified tent keeps the wind out, though. Stay the night to recuperate. Use the shelter to hide the Kodiak, then ma make some repairs. Search, search the place. Hmm. Search the place, maybe? Will we die? <laughs> maybe. Uh, time to see if anybody left anything interesting behind. Lockpicking 3. You find a padlocked stash. Time to get out your tools. Nice. Well, that paid off. Look at this loot. Decoys. Tactical armor helmet. Oh, a full tactical, tactical armor set, actually. Ooh. Some decoys. That's actually interesting. I'm gonna, I'm gonna equip those. Okay. Kitty! Yes, there's a... Fucking big ass mosquito there. Please catch it, cats. I don't care if you trash my place. Please do. Please do. Lisa, grab it! Grab it, bitch! Grab it! Eat it! Kill it! No, it, it's she very easy for me now. She caught it! She caught it! Hey. She caught it! Good job, kitty! Yes! Oh. I, my people are irradiated. Oof. It's not good. Yeah, I guess this would have been where we can save them. Well, maybe some of them are still here. Maybe we can just at least kill them. Toaster repair. At least something. There we go. A molded gold toaster case. A finely sculpted toaster casing made entirely of gold, untouched by time. Price, $1,000. Nice. Toxin cell. Ooh. Some weapon mods. There's a wolf outside. Oh. Okay. Mr. Wolfie! Come talk to me! Oh, I'm coming! Animal Whisper of five. Damn. But he could be ours. Could be. Imagine what we could do with such a thing. Eek shields his family from incoming fire. Poke uses his family as cover. <laughs> yeah, there's more up here. Grave. It took everything so it shows nothing. Oh. Beast Wolf must be a very strong animal follower. Maybe. Okay, we can go do the Steel City thingy. No, yeah, Steel well, City is behind be... radiation, we can't get there yet. Oh. Oh, yeah. <gasps> oh, okay, that's not, not for you. Just... Ambush! The mournful howls of drools comes from all around here. You're surrounded. Uh, we can escape or we can defend. Use your medical knowledge to gain a momentary advantage over the drools. Let's go for that. Knowing that drools are skinless, you uncap a bottle of rubbing alcohol and shower them with it. They screech in pain and draw back. Tent attack. 
Wow. Let's go. Combat time. Wow. I love what that. The... Hey, yo. Huh? Ew, what are those? You nasty motherfucker. The hell are they? A bile bomber. Oh, Lost no. soul. Jeez, they have like 300 HP each. Level 8. Well, good luck us. No, well, I will try to heal everybody a little bit. What is that green thing you have on uh, the status effect? Yeah, irradiated, weakness, minus 50% constitution. So I have 15% le oh. less health. Because I stayed in the radiation for too long. Oh no. Oh, they explode. Okay. So, uh, keep those away from us. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> Just run him over. <laughs> okay, um... Well, I have to do this... Uh, with... Yes, uh, yes, we... I mean, I guess you could heal, but... Yeah. You should can also I just not? do it... No, we can do it after combat, it's fine. Okay. We're not that bad off. Mm. Not that badly can injured. Hit... Can I hit anybody? Um... Not really. That thing has 600! Wow. Level 10. Yeah. So, who can I hit? Um. Risky shot. Out of range. They're out of range for me. I think you can set up an ambush so Lucia is gonna s uh, shoot automatically when they come closer. Mm, she doesn't. Uh, she has uh, an ability that lets her do that. So. Cerberus. My love. Oh, oh god. They hurt. I think Lucia is kind of screwed. Because when we kill them, they're gonna explode. And deal yeah. damage. That's not good at all. Wait, where did the other guy go? He's running away! Did you kill him? No, no, don't have enough AP. Then, uh... The Lost Soul. Uh, focus on that one, so when I get uh, my turn, I can 
pull Lucia, Lucia away. Yeah. Because that one has a lot of... A lot of HP. A lot! Run over those two that are near... Oh, no, you can't. Wait, they did not explode when you run them out with the Kodiak, so run them no, over. No, they did explode. Kodiak oh. lost like 54 HP. Oh, oh. From those explosions. So Lucia would definitely die. But you can still like target them because like with the Kodiak because, you know... Just shoot them. Just shoot them? Okay. We will not kill them. Make them both a bit. A bit? Yeah, just, just, just a bit, you know? Just 150 damage. <laughs> That's a lot. That's a lot! Ah, nonsense. What are you talking about? Nonsense. No nonsense. That that's how it is. Oh god damn. Okay, so Lucia, my my darling. Um You yeah. gonna go here. So Cerberus can heal you. There you go, bitch. Okay, Cerberus, are you gonna move here? Do you have 3 H 3 B? Well, that's fine. I don't Cerberus wanna... really needs more speed for movement. Yeah. S so she can get close to the enemies. I'm afraid, how is Major Tomcat? Fine. The clone is also fine. Okay. Okay. Now that I think about it, you could could have probably left Lucia where Cerberus is right now and healed her there and maybe got another shot off. Enraged. Oh. Damn. Ew. Poisoned. Run over that bastard, yeah. Seriously? He's... <laughs> Look at this. He's like... He's in range. Come on. His entire body is inside of the circle. So close. Well, Mumi, don't go in the way, please, because I will not be able to shoot him. So, which one should I finish off? The Bio Bomber or the Lost Soul? The Lost Soul. Yeah.
He did not. <clears throat> yeah, okay, so these two are poisoned. Yeah, get Cerberus out of there first, or she's gonna get poisoned as well when he explodes. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> I missed him! You did? The fuck? What was the percentage? 76. Uh, bad roll. Oh boy. Nice. GG. Okay, servers. You have to heal the people from poison. I'm very bad at this. Rosen heart. Crafting component. This heart is preserved perfectly in ice. It's ancient and hasn't beaten in what must be centuries. It inexplicably radiates frost. How do they stop them from being poisoned, these two? Well, I uh, need to antidotes. Can you use antidotes on other people? I don't know. How long before Major Tomcat runs out of that shit? Major Tomcat, how long? 50 more seconds, okay. You level up, Lucy? Yep. On it right now. Hmm. Okay. What is this? This is... This is just self? Poison wear, wear it off. Wore off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna heal. I found a whole bunch of ammo. Where is uh? Where are you? Uh, just running around, looting, looting the place. Oh, give me, give me a second. I just want to heal the the clone. Oh. Okay. Anything else so or what? Are we good? Anything else or are we good? We good. All right. Oh, this is the end of that place. There's nothing else here. No, nope. I mean it is just a random encounter. So. Mhm. Mm so let's go back to the car. God fucking damn it! God fucking damn it! That was fucking scary. See, um, I have to go in this kind of direction. I hope there will be no, no, like, you know. Nope. Roadblock. As you enter a wooded ravine, something makes you slow the Kodiak, a movement, a noise, a flash of light. Maybe it was just a feeling, but the night seems darker now. The hair is a raise on your neck. Go cautiously. Cautiously. You crawl ahead in low gear, eyes darting everywhere, it gets darker and darker. After a tight turn, your headlights flash across two big metal structures flanking the road. Structures? No, robots! Another steps behind the Kodiak, their servers whine as they lock their guns on you. An amplified voice tells you to step out of the vehicle, you don't really have a choice. Interesting, what's going on here? 
Big fights, big fights, a lot of fights. Oh boy. Liberty! Alright. Light him up. Wow. And I thought Colorado trash was sad. You made a bad deal, Rangers. My father's using you for cannon fodder. Go back to Arizona before you take a bullet for him. The graves are cold up here. And on your way home, tell him to hire a better class of spy. Okay. Oh my god, she's awesome. <laughs> I love this woman. Can I please marry her? <laughs> I thought you already had a husband. Shh. Yeah. Shh. Shh. <laughs> what his eyes doesn't see, his little heart cannot hurt. <laughs> You're evil. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't think those two are a good option. Yeah, uh, all right. We delivered the message. Yes, ma'am. Mommy. Ma'am. Huh. Spoken like a true lapdog. Why do you want to overthrow your father? Because he's taking too long to die of natural causes. Colorado will die before he does if someone with some vision doesn't take control ASAP. And that's not either of my brothers. You think um, your father is killing Colorado? Are you blind? He's letting a crazy cowboy cult control our oil production. Our main trading hub is run by a bunch of idiots and monster masks. All that should have been state-run ages ago. We... Ugh, why am I arguing policy with a bunch of gun jockeys? The point is, my father has Colorado in the palm of his hand, and he's afraid to close his fist. I am not. Oh, boy. Ah, uh, you don't think your brothers are fit to rule. Mm -hmm. Ha! I can see you haven't met him. Vic's a depraved child, and Val's a brain without a spine. I wouldn't trust either one to run a mess tent, let alone a country. To think of all the years my father wasted grooming them for glory when I was right there. God! That's really no good victory. Shoot him before he talks. Your sanity will thank you, and you'll be doing Colorado a favor. Not that it'll be easy getting to him. He's got his followers hooked on some kind of hypno happy gas. They'll do anything for him, including die. Okay, and Valor? The sooner he dies, the better for Colorado. He's the perfect puppet for some usurper, like the Gippers, to put on my father's throne and claim he's the legitimate heir. Of course, killing him would piss Daddy off, and you ass-kissers wouldn't want that. Might be the only way to get him out of Denver, though. Those Gippers got their hooks in him deep. Uh, yeah, looking at those two robots in the background, I don't think the we're taking you down option is a good idea. No, she, she's she's too powerful. The yeah. the mom energy, mommy energy is too strong. Oh. Oh, you're amazing. What? Nothing. Okay, we're done here. Ha! Thank you for your permission. Squad, roll out. Oh boy, oh she's God. gonna be fun. Let me marry her. I don't want to fight her. <laughs> not, not, not for real. Anyway. Oh, more radiation. Still 
hear, jackasses? Go home! And if you want to report me, get my name right. BB Gun. That's G-U-N-N. -N. Yeah. I think she's only gonna talk to us with good reputation with the marshals. You just had to! Yes. I've been watching you, Ranger. Do you believe in love at first sight? Of course uh. you do. Ugh, I saw it in your soul the first time our eyes met. You were with your Huddle on. My name is Flash. And it is my pleasure to bid you welcome to the bazaar. Come in, for the night air is chill. Your wall is held. Don't. And our good plentiful. Bring us your wealthy, your rich, your full perfect. And if you can't afford it, just stay away. This has been a monster army production. <laughs> Don't run it through, those are explosives. Nope, it's just scrap. Oh. at the Clown Museum in Take the tour, then visit El Big Top and learn what it really means to be a clown. Children under ten are free. We can't get enough of those cabronitos. <laughs> Arriba, los payasos. Once a humble clown themed roadside attraction, after the apocalypse became the holiest of holy sets for the villainous payasos. Let's you go. Want... Let's go? Alright. Let's go! The Los Payasos are a gang of sadistic killers who believe that the apocalypse was a vicious joke, and they are the punchline. Let's okay. kill some clowns. I don't like them anyway. Smans crew clowns. The fuck you doing here? Uh, can we see the clown museum? What? This ain't just a museum, pendejo. It's sacred ground, a shrine to the great joke, and you're gonna get it. Arriba, payasos! Oh. You scared me? No. Ease. Yeah, I will also have to move. I could kill three of them. Hello, yeah. Cass. How did you sleep on what did you today? <laughs> Thank hey, you, Lucy, for brutally murdering our enemies. No fair? What do you mean? I'm gonna just bring out a truck with a giant cannon on top. What is this? Concealed, you say? Mm hmm, smoke grenade. They were so nice and he is to use it on us. Twenty-five percent evasion. Damn, not bad. Bam! Cold reception. You shattered a frozen enemy. <laughs> um, 
Hamilton slept okay and had sunny side up eggs on toast and oatmeal. Mm. Sounds good. Yeah, it does. Surely does. Hmm. Yeah. Oh my god, they are so pathetic. No classes today, you can do nothing all night? Yeah! Sounds fun. Enjoy. There we go. Great. Uh, tangled clown wig. You try it on, but moving, but removing it could get hairy. Injury kit, some ammo. Ballerina gyro. This piece, lo <clears throat> this piece looks like it would fit nicely within a ballerina automaton. Some more ammo. Injury kits, smoke grenades, and ammo. Wait, I need to see. Uh... Oh yes, I can now use this. This laser... My graves can crumble neutral way. Okay, okay. And... Let's put more... Into brawling. And into healing. Nice. Uh. Oh my god, what are those ballerina things? Oh, what's the frequency, Kenneth? Go on, thought out. There we go. Uh, Stoll's Bird and Lore Book. Some daughters and a moldy sock. What are these ballerinas, anyway? I don't know, I, I found a few pieces to repair them. But we will probably have to refix them. This animatronic ballerina is currently turned off. A brightly colored pulse switch is mounted at her feet. I've repaired this ballerina. Um, oh. 
I got stuck. Why are you stuck? I'm stuck in a conversation. Step away. Okay. Damn it. Okay. Now. And so the this corner one is can cannot be turned on. It's weird. There's a pig. I found another ballerina gyro. Oh, you did? Okay. Nice. And now just flip on this one. There sure is something about the dancing ballerina that is just breathtaking. What? Wait, is that it? She's not that. Not all of them are dancing. They are on my screen. Oh, all of them are. Okay. Because for me, one is not. Oh, for me, they're all dancing. Desync! A little bit. It's power. Weather poster. Though mostly worn away, a few flakes of thick clown makeup still cling to the face of the poster. Ballerina Gyro. Most importantly, a freaking toaster. Mm -hmm. hmm. Air horn crafting recipe. <laughs> Around the world in 800,000 days. Thrilling and inspirational tale on a snail's journey to circumnavigate the globe. <laughs> oh. Lock picking eight. You don't have that yet, do you? No, but I have Cerberus. I'm gonna punch it down. There's I'm a guy inside. Nine. Yeah. Okay. You Mechanics can, uh... 9. I don't have that yet. Nitro flamethrower. You'd have told me you found that. <laughs> Level 15 flamethrower. Based around flamethrower technology, this weapon instead sprays jets of super cold chemical vapors. Yeah, I don't have mechanics Thank you, nine. Pig. So yeah, this is how we get in, but we need to have mechanics. There's an intercom. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry, wrong number. Open how we want. It's like a museum. Yeah. Made from the ticket clown out front, he's dead. Not my problem. If you don't got a ticket, you don't get in. What's out here? Maybe we can make some kind of arrangement. Well, there's the ballerinas. They've been broke for a while now, and nobody knows how to fix them. Got him going again. I guess I could let you in. 
They're already fixed. Yeah, should probably look out the window for once. Okay. Okay, weirdo. Drones, you dare set foot in El Big Top? The shrine. Oh, they have a car as well. The blood of El Payaso Rojo stains this sacred ground. Hmm. A joke. Oh, see, sí, cabrones. El payaso rojo taught it to his disciples in this very place. It goes like this The world is dead. Mock the weak and the stupid. Fuck up their shit for laughs. Or get fucked up yourself. Hmm. El Payaso never heard of him. When our people came to Arriba, the Red Clown was waiting. He went among the weak and the suffering and offered them the wisdom of the apocalypse. Those with the courage to listen were taught the great joke and became his Payasos. Okay, dude. Uh, if he was so damn wise, why is the ground stained with blood? Because the great joke demanded it. Mark the weak, lest ye be mocked in turn. Either you left, or you die. Okay. Payasos, kill the unbelievers! Oh boy. Okay. Shit. Um. So. I might have accidentally unequipped my assault rifle. Oh shit. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> You're good. I guess a clown car, yeah. Yeah, I have this EMP uh, grenade that I want to throw at them. Can we can we reload real quick? We have a yeah. save three minutes ago. Yeah, we can. Yeah, Bren. Okay. Give me a second. Uh, you want to heal to full as well? Yes, and also I want to add stuff. Oh yeah, this this will be great. Okay. Yes, this is equipped. Red. What is this? Twenty sixty four is the strongest I have. Okay. Can I go? Mm, yep. 
Putinus, you dare set foot in El Big Top? The shrine to the great joke? The blood of El Payaso Rojo stain? Oh, see, si, cabrones. El Payaso Rojo taught it to his disciples in this verb. Oh, you payaso! Let's make this quick! Oh. Can we? Uh... Nice opening hit. Mm -hmm. Yep, was. Surely was. I'm gonna take the left side. Okay. Give me a second, so... 3AP. 8. Okay. Kind of weird how the generators are always like at the way very back of the combat. So you'd basically have to run through all of the enemies to disable them. Even though it probably would be way quicker to just shoot the turrets. I'm thinking where to put her. Not big, not big. Okay. Cerberus is more heavily armored than the freaking car. Yes. My god. Oh, she's... Oh. Sneeze. Poor Rika. Oh, shit, dude. Oh, shit. He'll be fine. Right. Probably. Oh, my goodness. Love those giant spray attacks. <laughs> you move up to there.
Okay. Yep. Nasty sniper shot. Nasty indeed. I wanted to try this out. What does it do? Oh, I don't have any ammo. Well, never mind. What do we have? You have to, you have to reload first. That's fine. Wait, but... I love oh, the I fucking image of that, just run up and punch the car. <laughs> I think it was beautiful. Hey Dolphin, welcome in. Oh, she missed. The clone missed. Hello, dolphin. Hello, baby. How did you sleep and what did you eat today? How is streaming going for you? Everything is going great. I finally made it to affiliate. Congratulations! Hey, congrats! Congratulations, Dolphin. I'm proud of you. Yeah, that will be a better target. For me, at least. Mm. Yeah, I cannot really move anywhere else. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is not... How much is reload? Four. Four AP. No way in hell am I taking that. Missed. There we go. Second time's the charm, I guess? Yeah. She's hilarious. She is. Damn. Um, I'm leveling up. Nice. Uh, can you can you get lock picking eight? Uh, I can. I believe. Yeah. There's a safe right here. Yeah. If you want to. Mm-hmm. I wanted it anyway. An Uzi! So, oh, what is this? I also no, turned vehicle upgrade. I will drink, I will drink. Mm. It's the inspiration for Fallout, for the Fallout games. Mm -hmm. so. Wow. 
Electric leakage. This may avoid the vanity on your robot's power supply. Nice. But yeah, this game is basically... Um, us as rangers coming to Colorado to... Um, what do you call it? To help a... well, to, to help the ruler of this place with some rebellious children. <laughs> In exchange for supplies for our home. Oh my! V V A S P gun. There was another that I could not lock pick. That was eight, I believe. Am I right? Maybe. Wasp gun requires weird science ten. This tank, the tank holds thousands of live hornets. Only a truly wild child would unleash such a hard and fast punishment on their enemies. Okay. Armor, cardboard box, solidify your sneaking skills. That's great. Wow. Okay. Personnel drive, armor, leg armor, uh, requires five armor modding. Combat speed plus 0 0.4, armor plus 1. Healing bonus. All the used ones. Explosives. Shooting from the most version. Automatic weapons. Who does use automatic weapons? Uh, two of my guys. Well, both. Okay, then. Devlin and Marshall Kwan. So what do we was become? Incinerator. Toxic leakage. Okay. I have to sadly end here. Because my roommates are going to sleep and I don't want to disturb them. Okay. And we're gonna call it here for today. Yes. Would, would you, would you, um, would you, um, maybe, would you wanna play next week too? Yep, yeah, definitely. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Same time. Good. For sure. Wait, there, there was... I'm confused. Why? There was a hidden door back here, but there's nothing to hear. Oh. Hey, peace! Stop fighting! Hey! Hey! Hey, Zeke, welcome back. Just in time for the end. Why you so cute, Reika? What? What are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. I I, I have no idea. No no. Save game. Reika collab. Save override. And oh. sit. Oh my God! No way. Did this really happen? I'm signed out from Twitch. I hate this. No. Twitch. Give me a moment. I need to sign up. <laughs> Why? Like log in. Oh, I hate this talking system. Let's see. Wow. Well, now? Oh, okay.
Find me him, bitch. Please. Okay. Okay. Who would you like to go to today, Lucy? Uh, up to you. I chose yet yeah, like the last time I was the one choosing. So, so now it's Lucy choosing time. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, put, uh, put me on the spot here. Yes. We, like find more people I can wait around this time. Oh, I have a bunch of people online. <laughs> so if if that's the issue, then I can yeah. choose somebody. Yeah, sure. I mean, I I mean, have I have one person, but he's playing Baldur's Gate three, and he's ahead of me. So. So yeah. you don't want that. Yeah, spoilers. I get it. I get it. Okay, let me see. Two hours, two hours, okay. Okay, then. Um. Can be? Huh? Hmm? Eyes, the two great messages. It was very lovely to see everybody. Yeah, as it always is. Yes. Oh, Thank you, Lucy, for, for playing with me. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, when 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 do you want to play? Like which day? Oh, uh, the same like now. Okay. So Tuesday through Thursday again. We can do that. Yes. Yes. All right. Actually, so, okay. Actually, yeah, it is midnight. I, I would have wanted to end around here anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lucy, very much, and for everything. Uh -huh. Thank you, Lucy's that. viewers. Sorry for the power outage. And we see you soon. Okay, I will put the start rate and then not not right now, just the start rate one. Oh, oh, you you haven't started yet. Okay. <laughs> no, you did. Yeah, a while ago, but oh, I cancelled. You cancelled. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Tell me when when I can. Thank you, Zeke, for the follow. Welcome to the apple tree. Oh, yeah. Okay, three. What can I? <laughs> uh, wait. Where, where's the? Where's the? Where's the? Yeah. Start right. Okay. Tell uh, me when 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 the button appears for you. Yeah, yeah. Oh dear. Uh, but yeah, um, I guess I'm gonna be back tomorrow with Baldur's Gate then. Um, or rather, today, since it's technically past midnight. But yeah, we, we can go. Okay. But yeah, Three. thanks for hanging out, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Three, two, two one. One. Bye-bye. <laughs>